Hello. I win. Yay. Oh. Hey, 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 hey. We got sound halfway through. It's halfway of... through. That's perfect. That's what I was going for. That's all. Oh, that's a great 50% time. there. 50%. I'll take it. I will take it. Smashed it. Smashed it. Smashed it. How are we doing? Are we all right? Good, 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 good. Welcome, welcome Just to the Annual the... Show. Episode 100. Hello, everybody. 113. Uh, no, Rick, tonight. Um, he's busy. I just got a phone call from him, actually, um, saying, uh, I didn't know whether you were going to go into the full ins and outs, but um, Rick's actually got into a bit of a copyright um, thing with uh, Ricicles, if we remember Ricicles, because um, Rick's full name is Ricicles. So, yeah, it was a bit of to and fro. Uh, I think his mum's being killed and is the main witness today. And, uh, yeah, fingers crossed. Good luck, Ricicles. We have you. Fingers right. crossed. Do well. Sorry to interrupt you, Richard. No, it's okay. It's okay. Uh, yep, obviously we can't comment on an ongoing legal case. Um, we wish him the best of luck. Um, we've set him up with the third best lawyer we could find. Um, and obviously, you know, hopefully he'll be back next week pending charges. Um, on tonight's show, we're going to be mainly talking about squonking. Um, we've got some stuff later on. Um, if you stick with us, there's some stuff. Um, Can you guarantee that? Yeah, yeah. Good okay. man. Good guarantee man. it. Let's guarantee it. Let's guarantee it and apologize later. Um, we have got uh, Travava. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we have. We've got a special guest joining us shortly as well. Maybe during James's news. Spoilers. Possibly my favourite special guest ever. Uh, someone someone <laughs> is going to become synonymous with the show, I think. He's very vocal. Oh, yeah, that's special guest. I was like, <laughs> <laughs> um, Yeah, I guess, yeah. Yes, yes, yes. so we've got that coming up as well. We have got a mod showcase in spite of Rick. We've got a mod showcase. Um. That'll be interesting. And we've also got um, Troll of the Week is back this week as well. No way, dude. Yeah, it's one of those jam-packed shows. So without further ado, let's get right into it. Awesome. Um, Will we be getting to know James? Oh, I don't know. Okay. Well, fingers crossed. Well, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see at uh, 17 minutes to 10. We'll see if it happens or not. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh Okay, so James, hey. how's your week been? What you've opened on? What did you have for lunch? And what's the worst thing about living in Sunderland? Okay, wow, that's that's a, that's. Requires some thought. I think it could be that it's too good, James. Yeah, it could, it could, it could, it could. Um, thanks, Rich. Uh, good evening, good evening, everybody. Uh, week has been it's been all right. It hasn't been awesome. I'm a bit. I think I've been a bit grumpy because oh. I miss Christmas. Yeah, oh, fuck Christmas. And it's all gone. And you walk down the street, and you see discarded Christmas trees in back lanes and. Which that's bad. I, I, I'm probably the I'm probably the opposite. Walk along in the evening now, walking the dog. Get them fucking lights off the front of your fucking house. It's not Christmas anymore, you fucking. I did, I, did, I saw a post on Facebook yesterday, and somebody uh, had a had a photo, and they still had the Christmas tree. And I was thinking, yeah, it's, that's that's the tenth of January, and they've still got the Christmas tree. I think if you're going to keep it up to the tenth of January, you might as well just see it all the way through. To <laughs> yeah, the and to be honest, I'd be surprised if you didn't leave your tree up until Easter. Well, well, here's the thing. You've got various... You could, you could definitely do that. Take off the Christmas-related things, replace them with hearts in February, yeah, eggs and bunnies yeah. around April. Uh, you've got... There is a bit of a stretch. Summertime themes, sunshine. Uh, National Women's Day, little tampons. If, if you... <laughs> yeah. 
bringing the tour that we conversation down there. Uh, and then, and then obviously um, into the, into the, into the autumnal season, you've got the fireworks, you've got the, the, the pumpkins for Halloween. You've got to hang fireworks off it, James. That's, that's where the problem is. Yeah. That's going to start a fire, mate. Mm-hmm. I'm guessing it will probably be a bit, because it was a real tree, probably be a bit droppy around the June, July as well. <laughs> Probably a little, a little sparse, a little just sparse. Dig a hole in the floor and just shove it straight into the earth itself. Well, we did have one of them, one of those stands that you fill with water. You know, the, the stand you fill with water with the, the three pegs on. We, we, we didn't, we didn't mess about with the real tree. It was, it was. Yeah, I hated that tree. Um, so, uh, so I've been on a bit of a bummer. We had a bit of a plumbing issue. I'm not going to the plumbing issue that we ah. had earlier on in the week. God, it was not cool. It was not cool at all. That's all I'll say. Um, but apart from that, you know, it's been all right. It's been good. I'm, I'm not going to complain. Who likes to complain? You know, people, people complain. People just go, he's a wind you're in. I don't, I don't, I'm not a complainer. I don't like to complain. Anyway, that's a week I've had. What am I vaping on? I am vaping on. The usual. I've got the Lucas up. And in here I have that one. So I have um, I've gone back to the that one. I've got a nice uh, full bottle there. Uh, Previously, when I had the that one, the that um, when I previously had the that one, I was mixing it with this one, and I was having this one and that one, and kind of mixing them together. I've got it just by itself at the minute, and it is surprisingly fruity. I didn't realise just how fruity it was. I think it is a little bit fruity. It's got a uh, um, bergamot or something in there. It's, it's, got, it's definitely got something in there which I reckon, I, and it kind of gives. So, and I'm saying bergamot because it kind of reminds us of Earl Grey or something like that. Um, just it's got. I will say it's one of those ones. You know, you get those liquids that you go back to, and then you go, oh, yeah, it's one of like, I like to leave it a couple of weeks. Which I'm one? This one, one. one. It's, 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 it's grapefruit, it's bergamot, it's, it's something in there catching me palate. Uh, obviously, it's, it's predominantly tobacco. It's nice, it's nice. I'm enjoying it. Um, uh, so that is in there. I have also got, uh, let's bring this up here. Can you see that? There we go. We've got the ideal Omi Show SVE, and in there I've got the very last of my icebreaker that is just about gone. Again, both of them were vipers up in there, um, and that's the last of my icebreaker. I'm probably going to need to get more icebreaker because it's a nice, it's a nice good, good, good for you. It's, it's, it's on its way by DHL. It should be here Friday or Monday. Excellent, excellent. Um, so well, and I've also got I've got a third one on the go. Got the, I've got the, the Chris God Kio, and uh, in there I have got some icy cream man, uh, some raspberry and lime twist, or whatever it's called. That's the one. Uh, with the type on the top, and they are all very, very tasty. All a little bit different, you know. You've got uh, three different uh, flavors. I haven't just done the at the moment. I haven't even got really, really horror on the go at the moment. I've got a big bottle there, but I'm not vaping it at the moment. Um, that's my hand check. I thought I'd try and whiz to it as quick as I could. Three, three hand checks. Good man, three good man. Hand checks. Uh, last week's hand checks were phenomenal, weren't they? They were, they were epic. You didn't ask me what I'm drinking, but I'm drinking, uh, I'm drinking a Rick and Morty backer, uh, which is delightful. I do like a German lager. I've, I, I've ordered some new glasses. I was, I was gonna, um, gonna go with the general consensus and order the like that that party pack sample pack um that everybody mm-hmm. seems to have of the of the german crystal glasses what they're called the spiegel the spiegel the spiegel the spiegel <laughs> glasses um they, they do they do a pills in a glass and it's like it's this tall it's like it's like super but they're like that they're, they're, they're the liter like with a little like like a flute with a little, little tiny stem on the bottom so it's 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 like it's a bit like uh, a really tall thin vase with a little bit of a pebble yeah. at the bottom, uh, it's and, it's, it's, and it's about twenty three centimeters something like that. Um, have you ever been over to Germany, James? Can't remember if you asked. It. I haven't. I haven't. I've not been to Germany. I planned to go to Germany like half a dozen times and never oh, been. I've been very they they very regional breweries, so everybody drinks the beer from the brewery, local brewery, and uh, oh, I like that. That's a nice idea. That's a nice idea. Yeah, it's fucking lovely. That we've had, we 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 had um, a German um, restaurant pub uh, open in Sunderland uh, about a year ago called Bavaria, and right. uh, and it's introduced. They did what I presume was reasonably traditional. They did, you know, they did uh, Franks and they did um, 
big fat sausage they did curry worse and they did a few of the few of the worst uh bratwurst and how, uh, but they how did, did you hail a waiter at that restaurant pardon how did you hail a waiter at that restaurant <laughs> john behave yourself uh, it wasn't, it's just there's just a bit of light in my eye i was just trying to Let's just turn this off. Um, and um, and you had various drafts which were all superb. Um, and you always got the the, the corresponding glass. I'm I'm I'm. And so anyway, I'm digressing. So I didn't, I didn't order the the Spiegler, the Spiegler glasses. Um, I ordered a few of these. Um, that look very similar, but they're the proper bar glasses. Um, and they are by some. Portuguese lager that I can't remember the name of, uh, but they are equally as tall and vars like. And I'm looking forward to having them next week on the show to drink massive tall vars. Lovely, lovely. Anyway, that's enough of that. Uh, so uh, that's what I'm drinking. That's what I'm vaping. For lunch, I had ham salad sandwich. Uh, <laughs> I, I kind of did you though? Did you? I'm starting to see a pattern. Was there, there a, was there an egg in it? There was zero poultry products in the, in yeah, the sandwich. You didn't have an Amsala sandwich then, did you? But what I did do, what I did do was I, uh, I made my own little mustard meal, which was nice. And uh, I had the regular salad, you know the regular salad, it's iceberg, red lettuce, and it is cucumber. And that's where I class the salad. But I also added some of them crinkly, um, crinkly gherkin pickles. And, uh, and it was good. And I did it deliberately so that I would discuss it today. <laughs> that's right the uh the show is dictating me lunch uh, I, I, i'm a man of I'm a, I'm a creature of habit and i uh i got a bit like that with the rice yeah F felt almost like an obligation yeah i, I, I totally i'm totally dig that totally dig that. <laughs> yeah that's what i had for me lunch um what is the what did you say the worst thing about sunderland yeah the worst thing about sunderland um the shop, I must admit, the shops are pretty poor. We have a shopping center and it's called The Bridges. And, um, and it's, it's limited. It's an indoor shopping center in so much as it's a street with a roof. Uh, it's still <laughs> and, it, and it's called The Bridges. And uh, the shops are in there. I mean, it's all right. You've got a, you know, you put you, you, I would imagine it'd be fairly standard for a, um, for a small and medium sized city. But the rest of the town is all either um, charity shops, pound shops, Greg's. There's, there, is, there's, there is a lot of Greg's in Sunderland. I mean, a lot of Greg's. You cannot get a throw a stone without hitting the Greg's. Uh, it's a popular name. <laughs> Uh, and the pastry products, uh, Sunderland, apparently, I read this the other day, Sunderland has the, high, the highest incidence rate for uh, in the country for gastric bands being fitted <laughs> and that is partly due to Greg's. Yeah, Greg's. I'm fairly sure that, that is a Greg sausage roll related statistic. Uh, yeah, the sausage roll will go straight through that. It? It, oh, whatever. It, well, I don't know if you strip the pastry off. The, these people are not stripping the pastry off. So, uh, yeah, uh, so it's probably um, a lot of shops, you know. Sunderland is, is right next and people go, oh, he's a jolly because obviously you're right next to Newcastle or whatever. And Newcastle, despite being um, uh, a smaller town per capita, uh, there's less people live there. Um, it, it's, it seems to be infinitely better shot-wise, certainly. certainly you've, got, you've got the Metro Centre. The Metro Centre has a fair in it, indoors. The Metro Centre is in Gateshead. It's not in, it's not in Newcastle. Uh, I thought it counts as that. I thought it was... And, and, and let us tell you, everybody who I know hates the Metro Centre. You know, you know, it's it's such a weird shit. If you look at it from if you look at it from above, the better was said there. It's 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 actually swastika shaped. It's it's, it's such an odd thing. Um, it, it's uh, it's uh, everybody, 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 everybody I know hates it. I was fourteen, a fourteen-year-old John fucking loved it. Y you've been in the Metro Centre, John. Yeah. yeah. Wow, you, that's 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 a story to tell. We'll uh, we'll catch up later, and I'll get you the Metro Centre crack. Uh, I once, I once got, um, I once got stuck at the Metro Centre when I was when I was a youngster. Um, we missed the last, the last, the last train or the last, I know the last bus or whatever. And we got stuck at the Metro Centre and I phoned my dad to come and pick us up when I was about I don't know thirteen or fourteen, and uh, oh, he was not pleased. He was not pleased at all because uh, it's, it's a canny shank. It's a bit of, a, it's a bit of a trek. Um, 
So yeah, I think we're going to send it. So anyway, that's that's probably my um, that's probably the worst thing that's is the piss poor shops uh, and the fact that you've got to travel uh, on the metro, which is a which is a local train system. Do you not say? I mean, so it's the shops. I, I'm going to give you an alternative. You can choose one or the other because I, I think you've missed something. Yes. I don't know a huge amount about the north. But I do know, I think I know something worse than the shops in Sunderland. If we're talking about Sunderland, I would say Simon McDermott is worse than the shops in Sunderland. Simon McDermott is a darling. <laughs> You've got to love McDermott, you know. <laughs> I, just, I just thought that when we were sat here, it would be really funny if I could get James to choose McDermott over <laughs> the shops. The no, I, I, would not, I would not choose, I would not choose the McDermott over the shops. For the worst thing, so he's a he's a nice lad. He's a nice lad, McDermott. I'm only joking. I'm only really joking. Is. He's a nice he's a nice lad. Um, it, despite his Facebook persona, um, in the in the flesh, he's not like that at all. He's a hell's angel, you know. He's a hell's, a hell's angel. Uh, not, not a lot of people know that. About him. Got a big fat motorbike and stuff. One of them. Go, go for it, James. Pass that torch. Thank you. Uh, okay, uh, I'll, I'll just I'll fling it on over to you, John. Since I'm, I'm speaking to you, um, no, I mean. uh, how's your week been? Uh, what are you vaping on? What are you drinking? Uh, what T-shirt are you wearing this week? Mm -hmm. Can't quite say that there. And um, so all the usual questions. If you could answer all of them, and I've got a bit. Of, I've, I've got one for you. This is uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. talking about. Um, Talk about Greg's sweet and savoury. If you were caught on the hop and you had to pick a, a single sweet and savoury item, see it from uh, from like from Greg's or wherever you've got right down there. Yeah, we've got Greg's. We've got Greg's. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. To pick uh, a sweet item and a savoury item, uh, what would you purchase uh, from okay. from somewhere like let's say like Greg's? Okay, I do that. I do, do that. I do that. The week has been good. Yeah, good, 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 good. It's been really weird, actually, because it felt like a short week, even though last week was short. Can't understand that. It's quite true. Um, oh, I'll do what I'm drinking at the moment. I'm drinking. Um, oh, this is, you don't really understand the embarrassment of this, but uh, so I'm drinking Adam's Broadside. Adam's Broadside, which is a dark, it's a dark beer. Look at that. With a slight, uh, a slight fizz, um, it is six point three percent. Is um, also. sharp intake of breath. <laughs> right. um, this is <laughs> I haven't. Right, it doesn't mean anything to you, but imagine if you, if for James, it'd be Nuki Brown. Um, I don't know what it'd be if you're South African. South African lemonade, big famous thing. There. And for uh, um, Richard, it would be Tetley. But Broadside is a drink lots of people drink down here. And I had never, I hadn't tried it until the weekend. It was in a variety pack. It's one of those beers you're supposed to leave on the radiator until you're ready to drink it kind of thing. Old men in a pub bouncing on the radio. And I don't really do beers like that. <clears throat> and so I put it in the fridge because I'm an arsehole. And then I thought, oh, I'm just going to drink it cold. So I opened it the weekend and it's fucking absolutely fucking brilliant it's like guinness but it's not like guinness for anybody goes no it's don't i know it's not <clears throat> it's a dark beer that's got about 50 times the character of guinness fucking out if they made if they sold this around the country it'd be absolutely massive it's gorgeous i've had it it's nice that's the beer it's good isn't it yeah, it's the six point three. in the pubs they sell it it's 3.8 on the pump or something like that because they otherwise you can't have one and drive because it's six point three. what have i what have i got in the months what have i got in the months um <clears throat> first of all i've got a, a abstract i want to always call it a dacus but an abstract switch vet squonk R like that very nice <clears throat> With a B2K on top, with a like, clear the clear cap and a matching drip tippy thing. Inside that is carrot cake by a pistle. <clears throat> As I said, total restock of a pistle at just Uh I think it'll probably land on Monday. I'll stick it on site. Um, I still like carrot cake. I only make it a few times a week, but I still like it. It's great. Oh, 
talk to the B2K. Uh, Nata TV from my brain's gone. Canada. What? It's from Canada. It is. Canada. Canada. Yeah. The clever Americans. What's the other? Where? Where was the other? Where's the? What's his shop called? Hayes Town. Hayes Town. Hayes Town Vapes is posted on um, the Ideal Home Show page. That's uh, www.facebook.com. Just search the Ideal Home Show. I don't know if there's any that, but he was doing some special edition gold plated ones, and he only posted the link on the Ideal Home Show today. And I think they've all gone. Um, but um, that was really, really kind of Toby to think of the Omies. Oh, that was really awesome. He messaged me that fucking guy never sleeps because I checked. I think he messaged me at 2 or 3 a.m. because it was 6.30 or 7 this morning when he messaged me to ask if he was doing it. And then I said, yes. And I thought, well, he'll be asleep. And then it went, poom. Okay. He just never sleeps. So that's funky. Uh, ow. <laughs> Next up. I've actually got the same as you, one of yours, James. I have got the last bottle of Icebreaker. And I, I have to admit, I sonic this up, so it's 45 milligram. And what I put that in was the Zenith, the Inakin Zenith, which Richard very kindly sent me. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Is that it designed by Basado and Dimitri? Uh, Basado and Dimitri, yeah. Um, the vape isn't that bad, actually. I, I've got it down, I've got it on one hole, so it's a mouth to lung. Um, <clears throat> It just, I, th I think it just is a mouth long personally. I know there was a bit of to and fro about whether it is, but I think it is. Yeah, I think if, it, if you it's, can survive it's new... 45 million there, it's mouth to lung. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's, it's new, lung. new mouth to lung. The colony, hmm. I've got most things I've got to say about this are, um, a praise. I think it looks quite good, apart from I have to. I put an origin tip on it. I didn't like the tip that came with it. It gives a shit. I can't. Uh, uh, Mark said this on his review as, as well. The the plinth thing that people put on atomizers, that collar. Oops. The collar at the top. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, why isn't it flush? I mean, it'd look about 50 times better if that wasn't there. Because once you put the drip tip on, Especially if you put an origin drip tip on the drip tip. It's quite a fucking formidable drip tip, that. Now, um, so, okay, I just realised there's th three gripes then. Yeah, really small. I said, the vape's great, and I would, for the price, were they 23 quid? Yeah. Bargain. It is a bargain. Um, oh, I just thought of another gripe, but it's not. It's 23 mil, isn't it? Uh, ooh, 22 and a half, is it? Yeah, 22 and a half. 22. Just do 22 or 20. Yeah, 22. Not 22. Not 22. All right. The other, the other one's 23 as well, though, isn't it? The, um, the what's his fears? The air, the air, Aries. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so it's pre built coils. The coils taste the flavors great, actually. No worries about that. And um, once you get, oh, we'll have to do another dodgy close up. Hopefully, you'll be able to see that there is a feed hole for the wick there. But the juice goes about another mil under that hole. Ish. Around about there. But once you get near that hole, I, I found it starts gurgling. It doesn't matter. You can kind of vape through it. It's, I mean, it's, a, it's quite the reminder to fill it up. You think, yeah, I better fill it up. It's gurgling. And point number two, but it, it, I will report back. But I put a coil in it two days ago, and it was fucked by today. And I thought, that's not great. How many mil? Uh, six. Oh. Yeah, no, that's not. Yeah. Oh, so that's a bit oh dear. And that's Icebreaker, and I think James would agree. It's quite clean. Oh, it's clean as a whistle, isn't it? Oh, yeah. yeah. Six mil, yeah. That was ah, try another coil. I'll, 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 I'll put another coil in it. So I, I'm not, uh, that could just be everybody gets a duff one, and it was the one that was yeah. in the pack. So it could have been Absolutely. They do, they do come that way. Yeah, I've not heard a single um, a single kind of non rebuildable where people haven't complained at some point about the coils being hungry. Yeah, or, but I just thought I'd be honest. 
kind of thing. But yeah, well, I yeah. Well, let's just see. Try. It. Let's find out next week. Twenty-three squid. It feeds with no wicking problems. Never no, no dry hits. Nothing like that. Just works. Uh, what have I got last, but by no means least. No, no, no. Fucking uh, that. That's a tower and a half. Oh, tower. Uh, Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Sorry, I think I'm going to sneeze. No, not right, brilliant. No, it's like Bless you. That'll stop it. Yeah, you did it. Um, <clears throat> fuck me. This has got a problem. Uh, Mark Todd saying the uh, Zenith is 24 mil. Oh, yeah. is it really? Yeah. 22. Go 22. It's a, it's a, uh, we all decided 22 ages ago, so do that. Um, inside this behemoth. I've got um, Clony B mine. That's what I've got on top of the RX 300, which is still going. Look at that. Don't look at shit out. Mm-hmm. It's not a nano, is it? That? It's not. I turned it down. So it was a wanky drag. Um, I really, I still like this. It's still fun. I'm going to have to send it back. Dan Williams is saying compensated. It's called a micro penis. It's an actual medical condition. I think it's it's, really a, nan- it's a nano penis. Micro, that's what we're about to say. Yeah. That is, uh, but that's going really well. It, it, it's fucking fantastically made. Whether you, whether you think it's a paperweight or um, uh, an atomizer, I think it's fucking brilliant. Oh, what t shirt are I wearing? I'm wearing Bill and Ted. Beautiful. Very it's good. the it's the 1988 tour, and it has all the tour dates across the back as well. Oh, we never see the back. We never see the back in your hand. I'll, sh- I'll, sh- I'll show it later. I'll show it later. It's uh, got all the tour dates, and they're amusing because they're the actual dates. Fucking brilliant. Um, what if I was in Greg's and I was buying a sweet and a savoury item? The sweet. I very rarely buy cake, but if I was going to, they do those things called. <clears throat> I'll probably pronounce this wrong and get it wrong, but it's their version of the cronut thing. Mm. It's like a like a donut do, donut qua- croissant thing, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Dusted with nuts and like glazed in sugar. It's nice, I like that. Um, you kind of one bite and you've got diabetes, but diabetes and, and ADD. ADD, yeah, but it tastes nice. Um, and it'd have to be. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna be disgusted now. <laughs> Fuck it. <clears throat> I have some stomach problems sometimes, <laughs> but I'd still probably choose the sausage and bean slice, and then probably have an IBS attack <laughs> and go to the toilet. <laughs> <laughs> Let it be self-inflicted, but I'd probably do it. <laughs> you shit go. yourself on the way home. No, it's not that bad. But yeah, I'd probably just eat that anyway. <laughs> just go. Yeah, I know what's coming. Right, uh, Brad. How's your week yes, been? <laughs> How's your week been? What are you drinking? What are you vaping on? Oh, worst first date. Oh, oh, that's that's yeah. For worst first date, I might not be able to say. I'm certainly not. <laughs> change the names. <laughs> yeah, we'll we'll have to change names unless it's, unless it's your missus and then just forget it. <laughs> No, no, it's not. Um, week's been good. Um, things going well on the website. Been doing a lot of work on the back end, loading up new products. What website? Um, Mothersgallery.com. You had a new edition this week. What was that new edition? Uh, the the rent sale on, on no, Monday. Right. That was fucking awesome. It wasn't that was uh, completely unexpected. That was wicked. That was mental. We we sold out of the tinies in two and a half minutes. Wicked. So that, was, that was good fun. Um, what am I drinking? I'm drinking a salty kiss. It's a it's a goose, which basically just means a, a sour beer. So they found a way to sell off beer to us. And what did I? What was the other question? What did I have for lunch, dinner, lunch. breakfast? Lunch. Oh, I'll go with that. Yeah, I didn't say anything, but let's go with lunch. What do you have for lunch? Oh, lunch. Beer. I had beer. Beer. Yeah, I <laughs> gonna say beer. <laughs> I've, I've been down the pub since eleven o'clock this morning, feeling a little bit warm. 
<laughs> and and worst date uh, how to how, how to portray this sort of get investigated by the cops again <laughs> um we ended up skinny dipping on the beach all right that doesn't sound like a bad first date oh that was that was that, that was the highlight that right. was that was half past four in the morning, middle of summer in in Durban, in South Africa. Nice, nice. And someone thought it would be funny to steal our clothes and run off. Ah, was this? Yeah, we, we were was right. Your, that that was funny. That's gonna be. That, that's gonna be. If you if you're there on the beach and you say that 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 is that's gonna yeah. be. Funny. Yeah, look, I would probably do the same to someone else. I mean, not just walking down the beach not and I thought that. Have weird, but just you know, hide them, bury them in the sand, put them somewhere. Yeah. We we uh, we ended up running naked down the road to our hotel, um, and before we made it to our hotel, the cops came along and arrested us. On a on a first date, you've booked a hotel room. Fucking no, that's <laughs> a short thing, isn't it? <laughs> like, <laughs> fuck <laughs> it <hell. laughs> No, I didn't live in in Durban. I was down there on holiday. No, you so see, was... what I've done is I've booked a hotel room um, for after the dinner. What? <laughs> no, make sure you drink your drink. It's very important that you drink. Your drink. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so we'll we'll leave it at I got arrested. That's there were, there were, uh, it did get worse from there, but yeah. Don't don't, the, don't punch police. You definitely won. Mine was taking my. I think mine was taking a very religious girl to go and see Phenomenon with John Travolta <laughs> in it. That's <laughs> about the best I've got. Was it done? End of story. <laughs> yeah, that, that's that's going to cause a, a couple of uh, rough questions. <laughs> what are you vaping on? I'm vaping on a white Delrin. Phobia, lovely, with a lovely, lovely. It's a very and nice in, door. in this one, I've got swell. Then it's a pretty little strawberry flavour, and I'm still rocking my uh, Vulcan One and um, Vulcan Alpha. Very nice. And in this one, I got uh, Premise Thesis. It's uh, apple butter. I don't understand the butter, but I, I get the apple. Oh, it's a thing, though, isn't it? Because I, my, my dad's b bought me apple butter before for toast. It's nice. It's nice. I've, I've never had apple butter, but... You should order some. You're always ordering shit it's online. Uh, order some apple I, shall, I shall open another window and order <laughs> apple butter. <laughs> it exists, I promise. All righty. Is that... Rick, my man, that means you're up. No, no, nobody's asked you questions, have they? No, 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 no. go for it. No, all righty. How's your week been? What are you drinking? What are you vaping on? And what is the dumbest way you've ever been injured? Ah. Okay. Okay, good. Um. Uh, week's been fine, fine. Uh, my, uh, uh, that sounds a little bit apprehensive. Yeah, uh, Sarah's Sarah's mum's not been well, so and she's yeah. a massive part of the child rearing outfit. So we've sort of had to work around that, which has been fun. But so um, you you survive on with free daycare, basically. Uh, yeah, well, Freddie goes in twice a week, and Molly's in school, so um, the other days have been tricky. Um, so yeah, but other than that, it's been fine. It's been fine. I, I'd rather be at work than at home. So it's good. It's good to be back at work. <laughs> uh, uh, I'm drinking um, Firecatcher from Witchwood. Oh, that looks good. Mm, yeah, it's all right. It's um, yeah, it's a it's a dazzling golden ale. Um, you might like that one actually, James. It's quite lagerish. Oh, I should have possibly check that out. I've got, I, have, I have been drinking a, a craft. I've, I've got a couple of bottles of craft. I'll shut up. I'll shut up. I'll shut up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, jumping in, I'm just jumping in. I, I'm like, I'm eager to talk. I, I'm, I'm quiet. Please continue. 
All right, we'll find out more about that later. All right. You've got your special guest to reveal as well soon. That's right. Um, drink of that, uh, which we find. Lunch, I had... Oh, I had a, a prawn and mayonnaise. Well, no, whatever the sauce is that accompanies prawns on a regular basis. Um, well, I, I would say rice would be the sauce that accompanies prawns. <laughs> baguette. It was a, a prawn baguette. Okay. Mm, a prawn baguette. Part of the prawn sandwich brigade. Was it mayonnaise? Or was it Yeah, what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Was it, prawn, what, prawn was it mayonnaise? A prawn sauce, the, the, the old Mary Rose. <laughs> yeah, Mary Rose, that's the one. Is that named after the ship? Yeah, I think so. I think that's all they had on board was that mayonnaise and ketchup and a lemon. Crazy, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> prawn <laughs> sauce, we call it around this way. I get them complaining yeah. about scurvy. Prawn and prawn sauce tea lemon. cake. <laughs> oh, that, I couldn't even say that in the shop. Got any of that prawn sauce, love? <laughs> um, it's not prawn sauce. <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't pay much attention at lunchtime. Um, but that's why I just ate rice for so long. Uh, uh, vaping on, uh, vaping on, vaping on, vaping on the Pandora V2 mm. uh, from Psychosis uh, on the Wismec 2100. How are you finding the Pandora V2? You're getting on with it well. Yeah, I like it. Um, it's it's as good as a bottom airflow RDA can be. Because yeah. I'm not a huge fan of the bo the bo bottom airflow thing. The Kennedy never did anything for me. Um, I know it's a great RDA, but I just like to drip down the tip and they slowly seep out through the airflow. Um, I'm but, pretty sure we're not supposed to say anything, but you know he's got squonk pins for them now. Yeah, I know that's a definite option. That is a definite option. Because dripping down the tip, this is as, this is as good. This is as good as it gets for that. Um, and I'm still using it a lot, so I, I must like it. But uh, yeah, so it's re it's really good, but uh, it's not my typical RDA style. Okay. Uh, so there's that on the twenty one seven hundred RX and on the Ultrona from Asmodus. Oh, I should say I've got can only be one in the uh, Pandora, and uh, I love it. I absolutely love it. I'm smashing it, smashing it. That's 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 on its way down really quick. It's like four days, five mil a day, <laughs> which is a lot for me. Uh, yeah, so what? I really like that juice. Really what like that, that juice. Five mil a day of what? Uh, can didn't... only be one. Ah, on, just that I, did, I, honestly okay. didn't, I honestly didn't hear you. I wasn't being a sarky twat. I was. There, people <laughs> are writing their first dates in the in the in chat, and I was getting. I mean, sorry. <laughs> Uh, yeah, distract the chat can distract that way. Uh, also, for, in the Ultrona, I uh, I've got the Bravo. Yeah. It's a new RT8 from Watofo. Um, it is properly brilliant, properly brilliant RDA. Uh, it's it's really high power. Uh, it's like it, it it you could go 80, 90 watts with this thing. It's crazy. I won't um, do the voice, but it did really sound like a Chinese advert that when you say it's really high power. I don't know. Really high power. Yeah. <laughs> Basically, what Richard just did. Why you want? Really high power. <laughs> um, definitely, definitely get complaints tonight. <laughs> well, yeah. Um, <laughs> it's look. It's a really good. RTA. I'm going to do a review on it at some point, obviously. Um, but I just genuinely, I'm genuinely, really, really impressed with it. Is, is it squonky or is it not squonky? It's an RTA. Oh, RTA. Sorry, I thought you said RDA. Sorry. Is this, is this, this... rebuildable? 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 Yeah. That's what they are. Why did I say for. that when you said RTA? Fucking <laughs> <laughs> hell, yeah. It's, uh, yeah. RTA, it's wood. Yeah. In there, I've got that sweet pea. Good. What's it meant to be? Uh, it's going to be sweet potato, uh, a sweet potato crumble with a topping of um, marshmallow, uh, pecan, uh, cinnamon. I, think. I don't get any of that, but I really like it. <laughs> it's no. all right. It's nice. It's nice. I just don't get any of that. I just, I just yeah, taste, because those, just taste because those flavors are complex. I've got my bottle on the shelf aging. Yeah. 
Yeah, mine maybe. I really, it's really nice. I'm just not placing. I'm just enjoying it for what it is. I think that's why. I, I think it's that. Uh, I'm trying to think of something. I'm trying to think of something English that's weird. Like um, yeah, it's it, 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 it it's it's something the sweet that they have with a with a savoury meal, but it's um we're just as mental. You know, um, apple sauce. Yorkshire pudding on breakfast. Hmm? Yorkshire pudding on breakfast. Yeah, well, I would say funny. You said it was because we took Flitzy for a um, uh, a roast dinner when he when he came over, and he'd never had a Yorkshire pudding before. It was wicked. Just watched him eating a Yorkshire pudding. It's like watching a give a cat a Game Boy. It was mental. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so that's a thing. Uh, so I do really like it, but it's just yeah, it's a unique flavour of its own, and uh, it's nice. But I'm not. Th- yeah, I don't think of it as a certain set of flavours making up that flavour. Um, the Bonner, the Bonner, the Bonner. I'm going to talk about this a little bit more later on because it's had an adventure this week, this month. Um, and. And on there, I've got the Velocity V2, still a brilliant RDA. Uh, stands the test of time, in my opinion. And I've got Goose Juice in there. Why not? So that concludes the hand checks. <laughs> but we do have a special guest. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It wasn't it, he or she wasn't announced. Well, he or she is an excellent clue. Uh, for the guest, James, do you want to uh, introduce your little friend? <laughs> Absolutely, ladies and gentlemen. And the thing is, uh, it, it, it is a he. He's a bit of a talker, so uh, I want to. I want to keep him. Is keep... it a he? Is that how it works? What? what um, Are they asexual? On the on the all he's? I don't know. I don't no. know. No, no, no. I think you have I'm to pretty check. sure they have genders. Yeah, yeah you have, I haven't, I haven't yeah. checked them. Do you have to blow up their holes? I'm not. I haven't checked. I haven't checked. He just. He just. He just, he just seems like a he. Just he's seems. With like it. A he. Let's. Uh, let's bring him in. Here he is. Hey, hey. There he is. We just. Because. Uh, because I have. I have got him muted. So let's just. Uh, well, let's, uh, there he is. Keep him muted. Keep him muted because you don't know what he's going to say. He might do a Chinese impression that's racist. He's <laughs> <laughs> that really homophobic. It's just mid. Mid way through something. That fish is, you get a lot of action. You get a lot of money. Yeah. You get a lot of action for your money with that. Very active. Well, he probably hasn't figured out it's a tank yet. <laughs> and he doesn't even know how to drive it. <laughs> so. I'm uh, going to eat the fish. I'm, I'm, guessing, <laughs> I'm guessing he's learned how to uh, say his own name quite quick. Oh, yeah. Bob, 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 Bob. He's good. He's good. He's good. I like him a lot. I think we should go over to reactions from Bob when we do certain things today. <laughs> well, let's just leave it on him for half an hour. We'll just have a... Yeah, yeah, we'll we'll talk about it. Are they super excited? Oh, really? It is. It's I, should to be not, I should not have put that cheeseburger in his tank earlier. Look at when he tells all his mates tomorrow. He'll be like, fucking, you know, guess what I did last night? <laughs> Live on YouTube. I'm, I'm, I'm very famous. Yay. I'm a fish. Yeah. <laughs> Lord, he's, up, he's, up, he's up near the top there are quite a lot. I hope he's got enough oxygen. He's, apparently that means that they might be a bit short shy of oxygen. Well, that'd, be, that'd be a hell of a fucking ending if the fish dies. <laughs> I do. Live on YouTube. Pass live on YouTube. I want to go and feed him. I, I'll, uh, I'll stop presenting him, but I'll, uh, I'll be back in a sec. Why? Okey-doke. Yeah, yeah, because for, for entertainment, I'll give him some food. Oh my! God. <laughs> right. Oh. Should I go into the news? What next? What next for this show? This what next? We've got our own, our How own do we fucking finish? Right. I'm going to go into the news. <coughs> you can't be careful you got, to overfeed them. Have you got the pick? Have you got the pick, Richard? There we go. Have I? What's the pick? The pick. It's in John News. It was. Oh God. <laughs> it yeah, was, but what is it, it was, offer? Uh, it was a, pay, a headline. Oof. Uh, <laughs> what did you call it? Oh, hold on. Well, there was one called one and one called two, and they weren't. That wasn't it. Those are the ones you want. Either of those. No. 
They're not crazy. It'd be crazy to open those at this point. Yeah. It's well, called, let's open the other one then. It's called Screenshot. That's that's what that picture's called. That's the one. That's the one. That's the one. Do you know how to zoom in or do you not? Oh, can he zoom in like? Okie cokey. <laughs> not not in this way. Now. Uh, I don't know. All right. Well, hold tight then. I'll do it a different way. Oh, I can't. I can't. I can't. Okay. Anyway, what it really was. Uh, what's going to do? This was from Hampshire. Um, fucking how close is the zoom going to be on my big fucking forehead? Oh, it doesn't matter. Don't, just kill the screenshot. I can just run it. I know exactly what it is. Sure. Uh, it's okay. Well, I could, uh, don't worry. Don't worry. We'll leave it. I can do it without it. <clears throat> Hampshire. Um, they've decided, the local councillor have decided that if you go to the NHS um, Stop Smoking service and you say you want to quit smoking they'll give you a 25 pound voucher um for you to quit smoking and you can spend that on nrt so you can spend that on pa patches and um all those lozenges and shit but the other thing you can actually do is go to your local vaping shop and spend 25 pounds in there and fuck me i tell you what that's a hell of a rubber stamp for fucking hell for the um for the vaping industry just kill the screenshot <laughs> um, tw 25 quid to spend in a vaping shop and that'll get, I, I, that'll get you a starter kit and a, and, a, and a bottle of liquid I think that's uh, I think that's quite good there you go, thinking about switching to vaping's quit for life can offer a £25 voucher for a vaping starter kit when you sign up for our free stop smoking support service switching to vaping can help you quit smoking tobacco, cigarettes, and you are four times more likely to quit with support from the NHS stop smoking service um, and they've actually got a bit on there. Is vaping safe? The latest advice from the Public Health England. Um, fuck. Uh, thanks for that. You covered it yourself. <coughs> is that e-cigarette use is around 95% less harmful to health than smoking. The report encourages smokers who want to use e-cigarettes as an aid to quit smoking to seek the support of their local stop smoking service. That's all it was. But what do everybody think of that? I think it's fucking brilliant, personally. It's absolute magic. It's about yeah, that's got to be a positive, isn't it? Yeah, I told um, uh, my good friend Simon and boss, who owns the vaping forum, Ipswich, Phillips, and Colchester, um, to see if the local NHS will and show them what Hampshire were doing and see what they thought of it. Because that's great. That's really, really good. Um, you got an indicator. As, as part of that same initiative, actually, John is they're getting hold of vape shops i've seen it in two shops here in london already and they're actually coming in and training the staff in vape shops in how to properly advise people on quitting smoking yeah that's great mm. they had a meeting they had the the local nhs stop smoking meeting was in the vaping point in felix there. shouldn't shouldn't it be the other way around yeah showing their vape shops staff, showing yeah. the nhs staff how to get people to quit smoking Hell of a turnaround, though. In two years, mm. I remember two years ago when if you spoke to the NHS stop smoking service and said, "What about vaping?" They went, "No, no, 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 no." What do you want? Big pharma patch, slap that shit on, get a prescription, do it again. <clears throat> yeah, I used to fudge the, the stats as well. College of physicians have, uh, have kind of almost have kind of give us the the thumbs up, the pat on the back that we needed. Uh, I, think, I think it has changed. I think it really has changed, and that gets that simply gets gets quoted worldwide. The old Royal College of physicians, um, bro, that's cracking news. That's your absolutely cracking news. Uh, I'm going to do that a bit next. Uh, can you do the one and two uh, <coughs> now? Screenshot. Yeah. <coughs> the yes. Telegraph. <laughs> this was from the Telegraph on the ninth. Uh, Gary Dibley actually drew my attention to this article. He sent it over to me. Hold on to your hats. I have a hat. I am holding it tightly. Let's have a look. Okay, so now look how seamless this is. Oh, I don't know how doing it. It's not some magical thing. <clears throat> so this was from the Telegraph. Uh, the reason it's from my inbox is because uh, it was behind a paywall, and um, <laughs> Gary kindly sent me the screenshot instead. <clears throat> 
Brexit may provide a boost for the electronic cigarette industry as it could allow ministers to slash red tape, which dictates the size and strength of nicotine refill containers. The use of e-cigarettes, widely known as vaping, has proven popular among those who wish to kick the habit as they contain nicotine, but no tar or smoke. Um, can you go to the number two? Yes, I can. Perfect. The other bit. Not like this, though. And my head, nobody needs me to lean forwards. <laughs> it is seamless. How are you doing it? It's like magical. <laughs> uh, fuck. And then Bradley laughed and pulled the screen away. Can't see it. Uh, <clears throat> I can present to everyone. <laughs> Please do. <laughs> they might need 30 or 40 milligram. They're having to use much lower nicotine strengths which do not meet their requirements. So they need to vape more often than they need to. Uh, um, and this was basically the whole thing. That, fucking hell. I've said it on the show a number of times to the point of annoyance to people. 20 milligram, yeah, whatever. If you already vape, it's not that bad. But if you're a smoker smoking 40 cigarettes a day, it's, it's going to get you nowhere. Three milligram lung hits. It's not going to get you off smoking. I I've heard people who said to me, "Oh, I quit on three milligram." You are, you are. That that's that's a surprise. It's not you. On oh, I'm trying to think of the right fucking phrase, but you know. That's I mean. about as effective as going cold turkey. Yeah, it's not. I wouldn't. It wouldn't have worked. I wouldn't have stopped smoking. I'd still be a smoker now if it wasn't for um, the fact that I could buy. When I started waving, I could buy thirty six, and I did. I did 36, 24, 18, then 12, and then I went, nah, I'm going to be lower than that. It's stupid. Uh, that, that'll do for that. Uh, and then I put up a post on iOS, on the IDLM show page. I like to call it iOS, down with the kids. And um, that's on www.facebook.com. It's the blue one. If you go to the search box and type the IDLM show, you'll find our group. So I said, what do people want to see in the vaping industry in the UK in 2018? A bit racist, but I just went with it. Um, I said, I'd quite like to see a British mouth-to-lung um, RTA. The R stands for rebuildable there, by the way, if you're wondering. Um, more British atomizers of all kind, the kinds. And from the government, I wanted them to, I'd like them to raise the nicotine limit to a level that helps more smokers quit for good. I, I they said this before the Telegraph came out. <laughs> Boom, better than the Telegraph. And, uh, da, 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 and allow the sale of useful Nick Salt liquid to be sold in the UK. That was part of the same nicotine level argument. It'd be very good if we could sell 50. 50 as a limit would be way more useful than 20. I think it's fucking stupid. I'm going to run through a couple of things that people suggested. Um, squonking RTAs, Paul Hodgkiss. I think he's just trying to make more money. Person. Um, get rid of the bottle regulations. That was a really big thing, which I, you've mentioned it before, James, as well. Uh, recycling bottles. It's ridiculous, isn't it? 10 mil bottle. How many can you imagine having all these 10 mil bottles kicking around? It would be just. I will say I never buy ten mil bottles. Uh, no, yeah. What what pisses me off the most about this plastic <clears throat> argument, which am I muted? No, I'm not. Which we're about to delve into is where the fuck are all my ten mils? So this ten mil bottle and this hundred mil bottle contain the same amount of plastic. Yeah. So when when I when ten of these go into your landfill, your rubbish, all of that crap. It's the equivalent of having 10 of these going to the rubbish. It's daft. Stupid. And that's the end of my hippie conversation. <laughs> my, my wife is very clearly rubbing off on me. On the thread, I wasn't really expecting that, actually, but the, the environmental implications of 10 mil bottles was huge. We, I, I've had this um, with a few people wanted to send their bottles back to just add Nick, and then we recycle them. We do use bottles that are recyclable, but for the so 
if you buy going on Brad's argument there, <laughs> if you bought if you bought uh, a kit and you threw it in, if you used it all up and threw it in the bin, that, that would be five bottles, not ten. Yeah. So we've saved half. I don't think that's bad going. I think we've done all right out of that. I, 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 if we could do better, if we can do better in the future, we will do better in the future. There's definitely no argument about that. We'll definitely do that. But um, I know locally you can recycle every piece of plastic we use. You can recycle. Yeah. We do check that, that you can do that. Um, but I didn't realise it was such a massive thing. But I suppose the fact I don't, so I use about four mil of liquid a day. So I don't have a bin full of bottles. Like maybe one bottle a month of 100 mil goes in the bin. But apart from that, nothing. But and I don't drink soft drinks, so it's like getting them back, really. Like, getting my bottles worth. Um, I'm just going to try and see if there's anything else. Uh, skonking RTAs, skonking RTAs, e liquid bottles, still massive nicotine. Um, oh, one thing they would like us to get a proper um, a TV show, maybe on the BBC. Us, the vaping biker, Todd's reviews. Let's go on the actual BBC. Probably <laughs> less swearing. That's what they said. Uh, more Frank. Somebody said that handlebar guy needs to get his mixing hat on. Wonder who that is. <clears throat> there's, there's one that I found was quite. Uh, there's no offence. There was one that was quite funny. Um, battery technology needs to have a breakthrough to make devices smaller, so that we don't see the mods stop weighing as much. Oh, that actually leads me on to the next point. I'm not going to go through all these because you'll die for them. Um, could you change the Andy Fairchild just asked in chat? Could we change the bottle caps to a different colour? We could actually talk to me after the show. Uh, yeah, I didn't know that. Uh, we can recycle black, but maybe we can. Um, <clears throat> shit. What was I going to fucking say? The beer is about battery technology. Oh, battery technology. Oh, yeah. Hmm. Somebody asked me if we could shrink the shell, the cells. Uh, you know, it'd be great in 2016 to see the cell shrink. Uh, it's really, really, there's a fundamental point of physics that, that you can't. <laughs> You can't not the lithium li, lithium ion lithium dye batteries are the size they are they, they won't get smaller and um, there's a couple of things they're, they're, uh, fuck that. there's about four different technologies that are going on at the moment uh, that massive in the world i mean fuck vaping they're, they're huge if they take off they've got implications to to the use of oil and all sorts of things so, there's a lot of money cars has brought on the further research Massive. of battery technology yeah quantum technology um and uh sort of one of the other ideas is uh like a refillable battery so you almost use like liquid energy it would be cool would be obviously a very fast way to fill something up um so that i mean that's, that's just going to move on as it does it's going to be very very interesting um, i'm going to go back to my notes um i just wanted i'm not going to go into it but um Craig, if you're watching, we're all with you tomorrow. Craig, Gary from the show. Love you, dude. Um, do, 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 do. Oh, last thing I was just going to say was it's been fucking brilliant to watch the T-shirts, the, the new uh, merchandise landing, uh, and watching the um, uh, members of iOS posting their pictures of the T-shirts. We fucking love same people in t-shirts yes we do love absolutely love it. it it's always been a thing since the since we started the show didn't even realize that was going to be awesome and then when somebody comes up to you in an ideal own t-shirt at an expo or a jam or fest it's, it's it's fucking brilliant and and really so glad that you jumped on board with the elitist tees and that young james blythe um, designed they're, they're absolutely awesome and yeah craig kind of came up with the idea and then uh, james smashed it out of the park um really enjoyed seeing those in the last couple of days where they've been coming in from the t-shirts part so if you like them keep buying them. they're fucking awesome uh richard hello 
Hang on, let's have a look at this. Oh, that was that. Your first point was the point I was actually running into, but I forgot. That was the one I forgot. It's all good. It's all good. Let's have a look. What have we got in the news? Oh, okay. So, um, first thing, uh, just a very quick one. I know a lot of you might be aware already because I think we put a link in the group, didn't we? <laughs> um, Mooch, Battery Mooch, has finally uh, uploaded a couple of videos to his uh, YouTube channel. His YouTube channel is now active. Um, because he's appeared on so many other people's shows, uh, it's not the super easiest uh, channel to find. But if you put in Battery Mooch, it does come up on the search list there. Uh, Battery Mooch is the name of, of the channel. Uh, brilliant to see him on, on the YouTubes. It's um, awesome. And it's lovely to see Mooch being Mooch as well. It's no bullshit. It's just Mooch being Mooch. Yeah, I think it's... I, I mean, the channel is already flying. It was much yeah. needed, I think. Um, I, I think, obviously, like YouTube, you go on a journey with YouTube and the videos will refine over time i'd like to see him continue this series but i'd also like to see him do individual shows to a, an exact point answering one question six minute video answering one question bosh so people can search against that but i like his continuing show a series of show as well so i'd like him to continue doing what he's doing and do the the answering one point videos as well it also one thing it does it combines a couple of which is um big on reddit on ECR, on Reddit, and um, it was a point made last week, which I was I, I totally forgot, but people getting batteries delivered at the moment in the winter when they're really cold. Um, and Mooch went into it, uh, and it's a really good point. If you're getting the battery straight off the postman, it's more of a problem if you're in the US and you're getting it's minus 15 outside. But over here, we, we might get a cold snap. Don't take the batteries off the postman and slam them into a charger. When they're and the batteries are minus five, you're going to cause some damage. And I, but it was really good to hear him. That's great. That. Tip. But it's I just think it's vapors like us and as many as possible people just subscribe to that channel. It's going to be an amazingly interesting source of information. Um, really pleased for him. Really pleased that it's 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 gone viral within the industry straight away. And it's yeah. It's a really good thing, and you should all subscribe to Battery Mitch's YouTube channel. Yeah, it's a wonderful place just to go and nerd out a little bit. Yeah, yeah, it's great. It's great. It's great. And, and he's, he's, he's a charismatic chap as well as the art. Uh, he's fun to watch. That hat, wow, the bend in that hat. I could not stop watching the bend in that. that yeah, it's, it's amazing. I can remember if we were the first or the second to, to have Mooch on live. Mm. First, I think. We were, I think we were the first because I remember talking to Mooch, like we were going through backgrounds with Mooch and stuff, and like what, what, how the camp, how everything works and stuff like that. So I, I just, I'm uh, overjoyed to see him doing it. It's wicked. Yeah, it's great. So that is Battery Mooch. It was in chat, I think. And uh, yeah, uh, we love you, Mooch. Yay! And the channel is awesome already. It's awesome. Keep it up. It's brilliant. Keep it going. Um, et cetera. And yeah, good, all good. Uh, the EC Click Awards 2017, um, that's a, a, a thing they do annually now. They do this awards thing. Um, their results are out. I'm just going to uh, I'm just going to list off a few of the winners. The the cher I'm going to cherry pick. Um, I would because some of them, um, the, the, a lot of people won't know that some of them, um, uh, like the YouTube uh, awards, are actually a bit bent because what happens is people uh, a request to be removed as um people on there so yeah that's true actually yeah as I've, like obviously mark's sick of winning it mark todd yeah. won it three years in a row or four years in a row he's sick of winning mm -hmm. it so he, he likes to give a, a young upstart a chance so he yeah, he, yeah. He, he, he could ask them please take me off i don't want to be on there and there was there was another person who Dean, asked the vaping bike like Dean, asked to Dean not be on it bike. he he's you know the biggest he is you know he is the the, the most subscribed Absolutely. uk vape reviewer so it goes without saying, really. So he didn't want to be on it's it. Really, either, so. I, I think that's that's the. Uh, it's really generous for them to take themselves. Uh, you know, yeah, actually, it is good. An email to me and say, just take it. It is. It, it's very magnanimous of them. Them two chaps that are uh, deliberately, like you say, give people um, um, of lesser, lesser subscribers and that sort of thing. I don't. Know, I was going to say quality guy, but less, just lesser subscribers uh, a chance to because uh, it's all about numbers, isn't it? At the end of the day. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah, yeah. That's just great. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so kudos to them for doing that. Take we'll just cherry pick a few. Um, 
best starter kit Endura T20. That's a kit that we've championed on the show. Mm-hmm. Uh, best pod, The Breeze, another uh, e-cigarette that we've championed on the show. Absolutely. Uh, best box mod, Voopoo Drag. <laughs> I was shocked. I was very surprised to see that. It's a really nice board, but it's a really hideous mod. Yeah, I think it, yeah, it's 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 it, yeah, it's one of those things, isn't it? Whose place is the who places the folks in it? Yeah, yeah. I was very surprised to see that Voopoo Drag uh, was best box mod. Um, it's not bad. It's a very good board. I I I think Voopoo will eventually nail it, but at the moment, their their mods are a bit out there. Um, best sub tank Cleto, another one we've championed. Yeah, uh, best RDA Dead Rabbit, um, which by all accounts is very, very good. I have heard very good things about that. And uh, best international YouTube channel, uh, the Vaping Bogan. Absolutely well deserved. Love, love that. I love that he got that. Uh, he is he's so loved in the UK. He's, he's been Bogan. coming over. Hopefully, hopefully he's coming over to Expo. Yes, I'm so good. I'm gonna be in Germany. I'm gonna miss that. But uh, so yeah, hopefully he's coming to Expo. He's loved in the UK. But if you think about international vape reviewers, so he's beat Nick. He's beat uh, Rip Trippers. That you know, it's that's a an, that's an amazing effort well uh, by him. Yeah, and but one. speaks volumes because he's 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 great. Yes. Well um, done, Sam. Well done. Yes, well done, yeah, we love Sam. And we'll hopefully get Sam back on sooner yeah, rather than later. Yeah, yeah. Um, so that is that. Uh, Flawless. Flawless have uh, a new squonker. The, the guys behind the tugboat. Let me see if I can uh, share this one in the traditional manner. Let's have a look. Uh, uh, da, 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 da. It's, oh, it's, it's good. It's tense, isn't it? It's tense. There we go. So I present. There we go. Uh, this is it. This is the. Can you see it? Is it okay? Yes. Yep. 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 So this. So is, this is the uh, the tugboat guys. Flawless. They're doing a squonker, and this is it. It's actually not bad. Yeah. Yeah. That's not quite pretty. I did. Yeah, I, I really liked the. Took, I really liked the RDAs. Mm. I, I, I think I'm going to be floored by the price. But uh, 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 have you got? Is that the? Is that the only shot we've got? It, well, it's um, it's only sort of just hitting the market in the next oh, couple okay. of weeks. That there's a handful of pictures around. I think there is definitely one UK stockist. I think it's going to be around one forty. Okay, that's not bad. No, nope, fine. Which is it's comparative to their tubes and stuff. No, I got no problem with that. I, as long as I, I was just there was a little bit of me that was apprehensive, and I thought, oh, don't be three hundred, just don't be five hundred. I think I think the one in the picture is the good metal one. Okay. Uh, I think there's going to be three colours, uh, or brushed, or gun metal, or something like that. I think uh, it's good. I think it's good looking. I mean, it's it's a it's a it's a, a mod. Uh, I had sort of forgotten all about them, so it's quite nice to just see. <laughs> Do you know? Yeah. I don't know. They disappeared a bit. I don't know. Is it? Is it a? Is it a mech? Is it? A, is it yeah. a... We think it's a mech. That, that button could. That could be a. That could yeah. be switch fit. Yeah. Or it could be a fit. Mm. <laughs> hopefully, hopefully, like the the one we did last week, we'll find out more as. Uh, Go along. It's yeah, yeah, yeah. uh, definitely one for the cool wall when it's back. Oh god, yeah, great idea. Well, we'll know more by next week because it's supposed to. Yeah, be exactly. So we, say, we, say we think. Uh, so that's that's pretty cool. Uh, okay, so uh, the last thing, uh, as I said, um, the Scott Bonnet mod, which uh, which I have here, um, the guys will know because it kind of happened on the show and it officially happened. <laughs> Uh, at the weekend, but I, I, I broke it last week, um, live on air, uh, right at the end. Um, I I broke it, I, I tied my RDA on way too tight and thus breaking the 510. Um, told Scott on Monday, posted it on Tuesday, and is back with me today. Uh, all fixed, uh, no issue at all. Not only that, he'd already recognized a potential issue made a bespoke tool 
to uh, fix the issue. And uh, yeah, back with me, back with me inside 48 hours. Oh. It's got a tool so it never happen on any future ones. It's amazing. I don't know if he, he probably didn't want me to service. that, but <laughs> I just think that speaks volumes to... Absolutely. Did, did he send you the tool as well, Rich? Pardon? Did he send you a tool? No, he he just fixed it with this tool that he's using in all future versions right, of this. That's, that fixes. Sorry, right? Not that he's given to people. Right, he's made it excellent. That's that's even better. It's, even better. So it's, not, it's, not, it's not needed for the end end user. No, he's got this tool that stops that happening. Excellent, super cool. So, so, uh, and yeah, I was mega impressed. I think a big part of the high end mod making scene does come down to customer service. I think it definitely does. Uh, we've talked about it a bit on the show before, but it's. It, I think that's very, very, po very, very it positive. Can, it can end you. Yeah, God. you can there's, make there's, amazing there's mods, but if word gets out, uh, then it's not going to be good. But yeah, he was so he was really good about it because it was my fault as well. Uh, he was really good about it and straight back to me. Awesome. So it's I just really wanted to mention that. Oh, uh, also, it has a name now. Ooh. Because he has, he has, I've seen on his Facebook group, Turnwood FX, he's got three in the works that are already sold, I think. But it's now got an official name, the TFXS. TFXS. So this particular wow. model is going to be the TFXS. S wow. for Squonker, obviously. Nice, 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 nice. So, yep, really pleased with that. Uh, awesome, awesome sauce. Who's next on the old news? Rick is next. <laughs> Ah, <laughs> let's go to James then. Oh, Got any news, James? Shall we not get Bob to do Rick's bit? <laughs> yeah, get a, get a Bob quickly. Give him five. Okay, Bob, let's, uh, let's just... Uh... Okay, Bob. How much? Can so... Bob just say four volts to the face? Hot, hot, hot or not? Oh, not? Look at that. Bob's just checking behind the little push. Oh, no, not, not, not. There's no news. There's no news. He's back. He's back. There's not. not hot, says Bob. Okay, let's get rid of him. Okay, I'm there, Bob. Be before we start James's news, I just realised it's 12 minutes past 10. Is that not James? Oh, should we do? Should we do a quick getting to know James? Getting to know no, James. James. Get to know, know all about, about James. <laughs> Go. Okay, this is the uh, regular feature in the show where we get to know more about the amazing James Blythe from uh, IamAsquonka.co.uk.com. .co.uk, yes. .co.uk, couldn't get uh, .com, uh, that's taken. <laughs> uh, who's that guy that has that channel? Anyway, um, this is the point in the yeah, show. We know so much about James already. But um, he's the sort of character that everyone wants to know more. Um, James, who do you bank with? Nat West. Nat West. Oh, getting to know James. Getting to know. Getting to know all about James. <laughs> Next week we'll find out James's uh, bank number. <laughs> <laughs> I will Good just see it. It was it was the pigs that that drew was in. It was the pigs back when I was there. You remember the pigs? They're called. We call them the police around here. <laughs> Thank you. It was the piggy the piggy banks? Remember the piggy, the piggy banks? banks? I do remember the piggy banks. Yeah, my wife still banks it in that way for no reason. They haven't even got a fucking branch in about thirty miles. But it still doesn't. No fucking idea. No. Okay, is this me? This is my news. Yeah, yeah, come on. Okay, we uh. <clears throat> We're going to need some presenting, please, uh, Rich. No problem. Uh, my first bit of news is new for this year. So uh, there's been a few bits and bobs announced the last uh, in the last week or so, uh, which are coming out uh, this month, next month, in the foreseeable future, in the in the near foreseeable future, so we'll say. And I, I've got them, I've got a list there, but you, you can um, you can present them in any order you like, and I'll try. I don't almost really? know any of them. So all right, okay. Cool. I'll just talk about the pictures. So if you, if you can present any of them pictures from my news uh, folder, that would be awesome, please. Okay, uh, okay, let's do that then. Okay, fair no enough. Way. Can someone present me? I can present. Oh, look at that. Okay, so this is the new. Um, this is the new melody box uh, squonker. 
there is going to be a couple of different versions of this. This is, uh, I mean, this, these are unfinished uh, protos that you're looking at there. There's a, there's a big gap and hole there. That big gap and hole is not going to be for us in this particular version. It's not going to be for uh, for squatting. You're going to put your tiny your, your tiny little finger in that hole. Uh, this version here, as you can see, with the, with the giant catch cup, is the same as it's, it's the same system as their previous one, as the low rider with the atomizer style squonk, where you're going to push. The push that idea to kind of to, to to squat with it, but there is going to be two versions. There's going to be two versions. So this this so this is this is based basically on their melody box, melody which box. Great box. It's slightly more rounded, but apparently the melody is very. I have to just 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 I have to do this as an echo from the past because Craig always called that the fence post. So I've got I call it the fence. I I I owned a mel I owned a melody for a for a, for a while, and I and I really enjoyed it. I thought there were a great form factor. I mean, now in the days of Squonkton with 3D uh, printed boxes, I've, I've got battery boxes bigger than some Squonkers. Um, but for a Stabwood box, I think this is going to be pretty smart. I uh, do. I, I worry about, I assume you're going to come out with an amazing price. I haven't got a price at the moment. The price hasn't been released. Um, but I say there is going to be two versions. I, you know, I, I never thought that the melody was particularly expensive. Uh, obviously, the, the the aftermarket, um, the aftermarket uh, prices could be could be could be high when they were. All those uh, people they left when the tide went out and they when, when they were five hundred quid on, S, on SV for virtually RP. The other day, I, I, I had a little bit of a chuckle. Hello, he's back. I've seen him go for way less than that. Uh, there is there is another one, Rich. I, I uploaded. Um, there's a second version, which is, I think it's Delvin or whatever. I've got. Uh, oh, hold on then. Can you possibly present that one so we can show the other version? So this is, like I say, this is the atomizer style version. It's not finished. The so what, what am I looking for? It's going to be a switch fet. In in that hole now will be a, will be a button for a uh, for a fet. It's oh. not squad call. That's the one. Thank you very much, sir. And then this is the kind of the normal version, uh, which is again it's based on the melody box design. They're going to do these in. Um, in Stabwood as well. Is that Delrin or something? And that, I think that one there is Delrin. I saw the Proto, the Proto, he had a little video of the Proto up, and uh, it was a little gappy to be honest with you, but it was a prototype. Uh, the for, for, my for my taste, the previous one was, I mean, it was in the melody style. That looks a bastard. It does. But in my It is the thing. It's, a, it's, a, it's the same style of box. Some fire only, that one. Yeah, yeah that's yeah, that, 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 I mean, that's a lefty. But if you ask me, that's a lefty. That's a left yeah. that is a lefty. I think you might be around the money. Wrap, wrap your hand around it because you got to remember, Rich. These are quite small. These are they're not they're not a massive box. I think you might be able to wrap your hand around it and uh, and fire with your index finger on that. We'll we'll wait and see. Right. Right. You can see on there that there's a there's an atty on the top there. That's by the same folks. That's going to be the the whisper atty, and that's literally all we've got at the moment. And that's that's, that's the whisper atty for well, a just got out, hasn't it? Pardon? Word has got out. Squonkin. You... Squonkin is so hot right now. People, Squonkin is so hot right now. You're absolutely right. Squonkin is so hot right now. Squonkin and... Uh, what, else, what else? You said that about G something. Gin, gin. Gin, gin is so hot right now. Squonkin. Animals. So if you're pets. sitting at home right now, Squonkin Gin, then you are one of the coolest... Squonkin, Squonkin you are gin. so, so hot. You're Squonkin so money gin. supermarket. With a, with a dog on your lap. And then you're really shit out. You are you are the absolute the bee's knees. You are the shizzle, my friend. Uh, yes. so, so that is that's the two versions from Mel. I, I look forward to seeing what 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 comes of these. To be honest with you, um, I, I I personally would prefer a regulated version, but I think they look pretty funky, and uh, and I think they want to watch. Um, that's my first one. Can we have anyone you like? Anyone you like next? Right. This is this is this is not an atty. This is. Um, the mouth to lung chamber, uh, the reducer. In fact, it's it's, it's uh, for the B two K RSA, which I know uh, a few okay. are a fan of. And this is kind of a drop in chamber, changing your uh, your B two K to a to a MTL to a mouth to lung um, atomizer. Um, I haven't got any actual photos. These are all um, these are all made up photos of how it should look. Um, we can see it's it's basically it's it's uh, I don't know it's, going to, it's going to be it's going to be peak or whatever and it's going to reduce your chamber size it's going to reduce your airflow size by the looks of it and uh, these are coming out in the next couple of weeks 
and an RRP on that bad boy. Well, if it's B two K, it'll be affordable. It yeah, will be. It'll be if you if you think what was the, what was the what was the price on the um, forty on the full yeah. kit with all of that all of them goodies? Yeah, the, the price point's golden. I think you're going to probably pay more for postage, and you're going to pay for the actual bit of kit. So does this have a mechanism that raises the deck? I have got nothing more than these pictures. Interesting. It looks to me like a drop-in unit that goes over the over the top. I, I think I think it, goes, I think it is a. a, a um, a drop in, a, a click in. Remember, it's even a click in. Um, it looks cool. It looks cool. I, 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 I like people talk about game changes. Yeah, it, it always it always looked rather large for me. You know, I know people are trying to cater to the masses, and uh, a lot of people like putting these big fancy coils in there. And I still use. They're not though. I will say the B two K is not one for that. It's it's got it's. Okay, it's not once, but once you've got the wicks in, James, it's not a big chamber. Look, it is. That is a massive chamber. <laughs> <laughs> don't, don't, look, don't give us that. I, I, know, I know what you're getting at, James, because you sort of like you sort of saying in your head you're just going more wide up. They just make a 16 mil RDA. In my head, that's exactly well, yeah. 16 mil is 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 big. Even so. Um, I, th I think uh, giving people more options is always a good thing. It's always, always good. <laughs> totally agree. Can I, can I complain? Um, and, I, and I guess yeah, I think the price point will be keen as mustard. I think you might end up paying more for postage than you do for the actual uh, unit itself. Um, and, and where it comes from, if there's a site in the UK, you get it. Could be good. Absolutely, absolutely, absolutely. But definitely, definitely want to keep an eye. And that's going to be in the next. I think in the next two weeks we're going to be seeing uh, seeing them dropping. Um, Look forward. Very good. Next. Uh, whichever one you like. Okay, this is the new uh, the the gas mods who who make the Nixon. They are bringing out a uh, an odd year, and uh, this is the TR one from gas mods. Uh, it's it's not necessarily anything revolutionary. Uh, you can see it. Um, as you can see, it, it looks in the style of the top cap is is fairly similar to the to the Nixon, which I I thought the style of the Nixon was was pretty good, and uh, you're going to be getting lots of options um, with regards to, to, to coloured top caps, which I like. Which I like. Can you pop back to the previous ones and start discuss the airflow? I just saw the inserts for the airflow. Yeah. Absolutely. So, so you can see the airflow. It is it is a it is a bottom uh, bottom fed airflow system. Um, Kind of firing at a forty-five degree angle up towards the coil. I'm not. I'm not um, a fan of. I have to. Uh, uh, um, airflow inserts are something that puts me off instantly. It, 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 it puts me off. You've got to buy them at twenty quid a pop uh, when they're in, when they're in the packet. Oh um, yeah, that's fine. It was. It, um, sorry, I know he's an avid watcher. Statcom did the um, the inserts uh, of late, and I thought. Chuck them in or don't do them. I, I just didn't get it at all. Well, I, mean, I, I, I haven't got any flow I want before really. I order it. Other, other than these pictures at the minute. Uh, we, you can see they look like they're going, they're going to kind of pop on the top. Obviously, they're going to make the airflow wider, so it's probably going to make it, make it tighter, uh, mm -hmm. or it might disperse in a slightly different way. It's going to, the, if you think about what, what it costs you for a Nixon, there's going to be a, probably a 20, 25 quid at me. Um, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, and, uh, loads of options. I mean, on here, I, I didn't upload the other photo, but there's also another photo with uh, all of the matching. I, I, I could have done with just the last four. <laughs> oh, but, <laughs> well, well yeah. you know, for courses. But yeah, exactly what James said. More options. Yeah, no, it's more. I don't. It don't. What I like makes no fucking difference. If you want an orange, one, not. And, and there's more. There's more and more people you're seeing them with. Um, with brightly coloured top caps, uh, colours that you just you didn't the get. Blue one would look good with some of Brad's phobias. Yeah, yeah, I've got some unicorn spunk phobias that'll match that nicely. Yeah, I, I like it. I like it. I like I like having the colour options. I, even though I, I wouldn't possibly personally buy them, because I am I'm fairly um, mission, missionary position when it comes to that sort of fairly, thing. Fairly, fairly vanilla. Yeah, vanilla. I am. Uh, I think it's great. I, think it's, I kind of I kind of wait to see what that's going to be like. I'm really. Looking forward to 
I'll, pro I'll probably buy that, to be honest with you. Next. Nice. Okay. Oh, I'm not sure I can talk about this. <laughs> um, this is the, the, I think it's called the Karma um, by Mission XV, Mission 15. Um, this popped up, this literally popped up about an hour and a half ago. Uh, right. A couple, a couple hours ago. Uh, and it was pulled immediately. Um, this is, let us try and remember what the crack is here. This is a chap from Bordus has um, has jumped ship from Bordus, taken some of his designs with them. So I think I'll probably skip over this. Uh, yeah, just skip, just skip yeah, because although that was going to be a new RDA, but I can't, I, I can't necessarily talk about something that where someone has, has taken uh, other people's designs. So next one, please. Okay, this is the strike. It is Hellfire. This is probably in with regards to um, to my circles. This is probably um, the most uh, awaited, eagerly anticipated, uh, antici absolutely eagerly, eagerly anticipated uh, mod uh, in the next few weeks. And it's and it's a, what is it? It's it's um, the prototype's been doing the rounds with a few people I know. And it's getting great reviews. It's getting absolutely great reviews. You can see the chamber is tiny. It's heavily reduced there, and the airflow system apparently is something else. The have uh, if you just stick on that one for a second for us there, Rich. Uh, I don't know whether you can see that. It's probably around about forty percent of the atomizer is the airflow system. It's app apparently it is super super adjustable to within a nut a, a nut air. Uh, that the whole top cap basically, uh, sorry, the whole uh, top of the top cap is this airflow system, and I'm not, I'm not entirely sure. Well, I'm, not, I'm, I'm not entirely sure of the workings of it. I'm not entirely sure of the workings because I'm not seeing one up close. I'm not, I'm not been able to actually um, investigate fully. The general gist is what you've got is now. Now these are the prototype. That's, there is there is another picture where it's being changed ever so slightly. The um, the that's that's the new picture. That's the latest picture there. That's I think is going to be the um, the, the actual um, production version. It's it's got the engraving there, and it's lost them them two little nubbins, which were kind of to um to get the top cap to fit perfectly. Um, Pointing out in chat, it's a very shallow deck. It is a very it's, it's highly reduced. It's it's it's, it's shallow. Skunk, it? it is a squonk. It's going to be exactly. BF only. As far as I'm aware, it's going to be BF only, and it's. A revolutionary a new design with the airflow. Darren's a I, I was just going to say, there's not many. You know, Darren's. How many atmos could you get that close to and not be worried? I will say, is the machining as usual as you expect from Hellfire is barrel. So. It's going. To, oh, absolutely! Without a shadow of a doubt, it's going to be. Um, I I see it perfect. It's going to be perfect. The machining is going to be perfect. Yeah. Um, the only thing, my only concern is, uh, and this is just a vanity thing, it's a bit of a funny looking f uh, fella. Um, the airflow is kind of like almost by in the middle, almost. It's a little bit taller than than some some of the uh, the other ones out there. It's a little bit taller than the. Than the they're, certainly, they're certainly due a hit, aren't they? <laughs> I'm, I'm smirking behind the glass. Yeah. I can understand that. I can understand that. Um, and <clears throat> it's going to be good. It looks great. What, um, it's exactly what as people have been looking for. How many yeah. how many people have said on UKS in the last three months? What are my options for a restricted air squonking audio? Yeah, and apparently you can close this baby right down to to less than a mil, less than a mil, and it's smooth. That, that that's the word that keeps recurring with everybody who's um who who's tried it. Uh, is is that the airflow is so smooth, and and I, I'm looking forward to having a having a having a go with that myself. Pretty good. Uh, I kind of I agree with what Richard said. I'm trying to be funny. Uh, the last hellfire I had was the go for the go backwards. James can do it. Small one. Uh, how how small? Eighty milli fury. Uh, before. Uh, how small? How small? Tell us how small. That's about the same size as the Fury. Smaller. 
I mean, but 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 further back in time. Was it a uh, squat yard here? Yes. In in release. Oh. oh, someone in chat, give me it. Come on, chat. Come on, chat. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, You've been drinking as much as I have, chat. Yeah, I know. I tell you what, the six point three is getting to me now. Uh, Viper, there we go. Good one, that English. Hit it straight off the bat. The what is it? Yeah. It was the Viper. Oh, the, I'm damn rocking Vipers left, right, and centre. What? Are you... Do you know what? There's a fault with the Viper. Sorry, there's a fault. Sorry, Hellfire fan boys. There, there is a fault not. The Viper. There is a fault. There is there's not. A fault. The baffle's in the wrong place. There is. It didn't baffle the inner. Uh, it, it, it's daft. That next, should we go on to the next one? Yes, please. Yes. Okay, this is what is this? This, this <laughs> is <laughs> now you're talking. <laughs> now, we're on, now we're on Richard's channel. Let's get it's got a little bit of stick oh, back to China. You know, what, you know what it is? This this squonk V Feng from Snow Wolf. I like the idea. I like, I mean, it's not my styling, but I might have one of these. I like the idea of the two balls. I quite like the color screen. One, please get the red one. Uh, the red one will go me nudge. I'm giving the nudge away. Um, uh, I, I'm sorry, mate. This just makes me cringe. It looks a bit like a transformer. Look, you look. Uh, I know it's a bit For of those a, that haven't spotted it yet. Yeah. Like it balls. looks like Optimus Prime and the fucking Power Rangers had a bastard love child. It is a, it is Brad, a it Brad, it's, does. Brad, it's built to amaze. It does. <laughs> <laughs> it is. It, I think it is something else. I, I like the idea of two small bottles. I quite, you know, I, I, I almost mentioned it earlier in the show. This one and that one, mixing them together. The, the best thing I can say about this is at least the Chinese are trying to do something original. Original and wrong, but original. It's something different. And you know what you could do? You could just kind of grab it like that, just kind of, oh, I'm going to squat the ball at the same time and just see what you get. Just see what you get. It could be random every single time. The change, the 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 ratio is going to be a little bit different. I, I don't know. It's different. It's unusual. I don't want to. Di I don't. I don't want to diss it because I think, and and I, and I know probably ninety percent of people will say, "No, I don't want that." And 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 normally I wouldn't want that. But the also, it's been <laughs> done, and no one bought it the first time, so I don't think it's going to work. I I I quite like that. I I like a color screen. I haven't got any mods with colour screens. I like more juice for me money. I I I think it's all right. I think it's all right. Yeah, they're both the same liquids in it, but yeah. I wouldn't, I would not, I would definitely I'll have an RY on one side, I'll have a custard or something in the other side, and I will because I do that all the time. I literally fill a bottle. I've I mean, all deviate, which you, as you probably well know is usually RY hole. And I have this, I have this bottle here, and, and I'll fill this bottle and I'll put in all my horn after about halfway, and then I'll stick it up with some hazelnut, I'll stick that in there, I'll put some nuts in there, I'll stick that in there. And then next time round, I'll just fill it up with nuts in there, and I'll put some legend in the top, and I will mix them and match them all the time. And I think doing that on the fly will be just cool. I just I I wouldn't take it out with because it's probably going to be quite big and heavy and bulky. Um but I like the idea of the two bottles together. I don't know, it, it's it's not a handsome mode. I'd like to see what the chip's going to be like. I, I don't know. I, what do you think, Rich? Come on, you, this is like you like said. This is your this is your career. What do you think? Um, it um, it, it's it reminds me of um the split tank RDTAs, which uh, for all the will in the world, you don't get that balance of flavour that you have in your mind. You know, you're thinking, I'll put custard in one side, tobacco in the other. It's going to be amazing. You, you could, you, if you really wanted to mix those two, you could just mix them into your squonk bottle. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. I, well, I, I, I think I would like to maybe make my own mind up, and uh, I, no, we'll see, we'll see. I, don't rush out and buy one just in case I get one. <laughs> you can have mine. <laughs> to, yeah, no, I, I like. I, I um, God loves a trier, and they've they've really tried something there. The truth is, I don't know a lot about Snow Wolf. Um, other than I remember a few years ago, the same house from the go, which people were digging a lot. I, I, my my knowledge, they, they, they were, and then it and then it had a quite a large floor, which is it kind of 
it blew up. One of my well. most popular videos on, on the channel ever was the Snow Wolf V1 is SHIT. Yeah, it was. A and it, everyone was loving it at the time, and I went out of my way to buy one hundred quid, and I was furious. It was awful. <laughs> it was Larry. fucking shit, and it was dangerous. It got these terrible clips at the top, and you could um, you could short it out on the door if I'm not wrong, would you? The door was like uh, a maraca. Yeah, you could short it out, couldn't you? Um, it, that was um, that was that was it, it was in a uh, very 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 particular circumstances it wasn't yeah. like a wide spread oh no 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 but, but um but yeah it was just not what i don't know why people went nuts for that mod ever but they did and i was furious <laughs> right well uh well i i, I will but uh, no but they but they they do okay and yeah i know it's in in sort of a perverse way it's very exciting I, 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 there is there is something about like, like i say my knowledge is very is is slim when it comes to um, the vast majority of things that are coming out of China, uh, but just that, <laughs> that just. I don't. Can you tell how that mod is powered? Because it says 120 watts on the screen. It's, it's a single battery, 2700. Yeah, the, I think there is there is probably some. Right, so that's that's, being that's, uh, that's nonsense then. Yeah, but that doesn't bother me because I'm one of the at 14 watts. No, 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 no. Don't don't, don't get me wrong. So if 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 you're watching Snow Wolf, send me one of them, and I will. Uh, I, don't, I don't really mean that. Um, so that that was the Snow Wolf. That was the um, the Skronk V thing, Skronk Five thing. Scotty Bugfoot in chat just said, "Yep, shorted mine on the door instantly." Yeah, it's because it, yeah, you're right. It had the tag at the top and tag at the bottom, and that was supposed to keep the door tight, but it didn't. And the door, you could push the tab further in to the mod. And therefore, bridging the batteries. Um, um, not, it wasn't. A, it, I, I, it just got this hype somehow. Um, yeah. Ah, uh, but things, but things do, don't they? James, what have we got next? I don't know. What have we got next, Rich? Uh, is it try fa 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 fa? Is that everything? Well, I don't know. What about the uh, the one? I've got the 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 one. The some pictures of the one come out. I'm not talking about that. Oh, the oh, one. Then. Yeah, go for it. If, if it's the one, is it the one true Christ? Uh, let's have a look. Oh, I went from Neo, oh, oh, okay, 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 okay. Uh, so all I need to do uh, is. Uh, that's more Are you ready? I'm ready. Yeah. We've got some. Uh, oh, hello. Uh, there we go. Did that, go. Fuck. did that work? No? Seamless. You had it, you had it and then it kind of went. Uh, what's going on? Well, I mean, we can talk briefly about the one. Um, it's a. It's a Single sided. What's gone on there? Oh, here we go. There we go. There, there it go. is. There it was. Uh, I'll let's present. I'll present. No, it's fine. It's presenting. It's okay. What? So why can I say you, John? Because we're not watching it on YouTube. <laughs> okay. Well, I'm. I'm not going to. I'm not going to nail myself. I, I hope that's not breaking things. No, no. I don't know why that went a bit pear shaped, but it did. Okay. So this is this is the one. Um, I mentioned this uh, with and I had what was basically the worst, um, the worst picture we've probably ever had, uh, was like a, a, a scribble uh, a few weeks ago. Uh, there's been a few more, um, a few more pictures being released, and Ollie Deeks I think has been uh, is, is is now the hype man for uh, for the one, and, and he's apparently loving it. Um, the the deck looks as though you you've got the, the positive and the negative on. Oh, is this is this like a big? Is it who's it who's making it? And it's it's the collaboration between uh, that chap and this chap, them two chaps. They've got it looks a, like a, it looks like a wasp. Uh, I don't think it's going to be priced like a wasp. It does look like one, doesn't it? Oh, I see what you mean. No, okay, here's, it's the, deck, here's the deck picks. Uh, so you, you've you've got it kind of um, captain. <laughs> I mean, it's a little bit unusual in so much as you, you capture on both both sides there for a tw for that sort. Uh, that's that's the. I haven't got a lot of information to be honest with you. I, I've seen a. You're okay, yeah. I, I, I just it, 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 it's it's wasp esque, isn't it? Well, you uh, but you're building on you're building on, on, on one side. Agreed. On one agreed. side. On one side. Yeah. yeah. Mm. So there's that. Yeah, it's got. I think it looks really good. 
we'll, we'll, we'll wait and see. Uh, wait and see. Uh, we'll, we'll keep our eyes on this one, I think. Yeah. Uh, the, the, the chap who's, like I say, who's hyping at the minute, he seems to love it, but of course he's going to do that because he's, he's currently the hype man for, uh, for the one. Uh, so that's that's me new for this year. I think the main one to watch is, or the main ones to watch, uh, if you're in the high end, then is is going to be the strike uh, for if you're mouth to lungers, which apparently can go from mouth lung to to um, to direct lung uh, with the turn of a the turn of a. I said Mark Todd's already got the one. Apparently so. Apparently so. I'm just I'm, in chat. I'm not spoiling what about it. Um, and also, with regards to uh, to to your um, to your less high end sort of thing, um, the gas mods. I think that's probably going to be twenty twenty five quid. I think I might be cracking a little bit, but I'd like to have a go with that as well. So uh, that's that, that's me new for this year. The other things that I've been kind of spoke about and released in, or uh, mentioned in the last in the last week or so. Uh, yeah. Next we have. Oh, next we have. A bit of a serious thing, a little bit of a serious thing. Do it, do it, thing. do it, do it. Do it. Um, and this is something that's come up in the last, in the last, shall I just, uh, on, on broadcast here there. Oh, no, 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 no. It's all right, you're all right, you think you're still with it. Is that good? Um, is, is Neiman and Shaman on Facebook groups? Because I've seen this a couple of times this week. Obviously, I'm, I'm, um, I'm an admin on UK Smugglers. So you kind of you, you come across these things regardless whether you want to or not, and uh, a couple of a couple of been reported reported to me this week, and the reaction to them. This is what this is what I want to kind of talk about is the reaction to them. Somebody will the the two that, are, that I've seen this week. The first one was somebody was actually naming and shaming somebody, and the second one was kind of shall I name and shame somebody. And the reaction, the pitchforks, the way that they come out almost immediately without any without any real evidence, is just it, it is shopping to us. It's a little bit shopping to us. And I know people 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 love a bit of drama. We all love oh, it. they fucking love it. That they love a bit of drama, but without any evidence, they want to condemn these people. And I know we seem to have this kind of this culture. Of uh, of jumping on people uh, within the within within scrumping, uh, and as pro- I'm sure it's probably within. It's, it's not. It's within vaping, James. I will say it's not. It's not scrumping. It's to be. Today. Sorry, I th- sorry, I said scrumping then. I meant to say vaping, um, and I'm sure it's within many many hobbyist things where people are um, beyond just you know somebody might have a car. Lots of people have a car, but if you're a car collector, then I'm sure, and there's groups for that or whatever knives or furniture or retro games or whatever it is i'm sure there is these kind of these people who are so uh, enamored and passionate and that, that and that passion comes out um when you when when you when you're so involved in these things uh, but I, I give these people a chance uh, the two that, I, that i've seen here the first one that i've seen this week the first one the chap was named and shamed Turned out that fella, um, his wife had just had a baby. The baby wasn't very well, uh, and if he'd have done it, if he'd have spent five minutes looking on his on his Facebook group, he had photos of the of the of the of the band with all the tubes up his nose and all this sort of stuff, and and yet he's being condemned on a, on a group um, as as being a. I can't remember the, the the actual the actual ins and outs. Whether he was he hadn't paid for something, or he hadn't returned something. There was a, there was an issue with a, um, and this is all within classified. This is all within uh, buying and selling and that sort of thing. So the one where he said he wanted to buy something and then didn't come back to him. Oh, um, no, because that wasn't that, that that wasn't even the story behind the second one, Rich. That was that was something else got all together. I, I'm reckon, I kind of talk about the second one because it hasn't been resolved. But but uh, there is there's, there's often far more than the initial story kind of kind of shows so if somebody saying shall I name and shame and I know it's, it's not the same as with companies maybe you've you've had a, a bad issue with a company but everybody has you kind of uh, just as a little kind of 
uh, uh, like a little shining light within the quagmire of shit. Um, when we when we started the iOS group, there was quite a lot of experience in the um, in, in in the in the people running it, as there is now. Uh, and you might find that we are quite fast at turning off comments or deleting threads, and there's there's a reason for it. We really just can't be asked with the whole thing. We just it, it, we try to make iOS a different playground. If that makes any sense. So. Uh, there, there is, a, there, is, there is a, um, a massive amount of difference between admin on I, on iOS, <coughs> excuse me, and admin on uh, a group like UES. Yeah. Uh, and I'm not saying one's better than the other, by the way. Uh, the, the, I'm the, just the, saying, and that's what I, what I want to say. They the are just different. The way that the way that the way that we're doing things. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Um, there's a lot of just on, on iOS. It's just judgment, judgment calls, whereas on UES, uh, there's a lot of evidence building. And uh, collecting the data, and then it's all just, it's all just, it's all group discussed, discussed, um, and it's done in a more kind of I don't know legal way or whatever, whatever, whichever we want to call it. But it, it's kind of um, it's it's more. Pro <laughs> I want to use the word professional if you like. Whereas whereas what we do is it is it's just judgment call. Do you think? And and often I mean, a lot of the time you're probably right. You're probably right uh, because of experience and that sort of thing. Uh, but iOS is not like that, and, it's, and it takes it takes a lot of time um, to to build up these cases just to boot somebody out on 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 you. Yes, and it's and it's done proper and it's done proper, and everything is and everything is everything is documented and it is done like like a legal system almost. Um, mm -hmm. But it takes a lot of your time. But anyway, that's not what I'm talking about. What I'm talking about is uh, is the is the the general reaction to people who want to name and shame and just I, I want to say it's just give people the benefit of the doubt for a little for a little bit longer let's you know ask the questions is is this is the evidence unrefutable irrefutable irrefutable uh, you know are, are you sure that these people should be condemned before you condemn them that's all that's I just that's all I want to say because this poor, the poor fellow at the start of the week, and I see it, he just, he, his wife just had a baby, and the baby was just at, just at the end of, of your of the segment, which is what you, uh, I totally agree with what you're saying. I, I just want to add a little tiny caveat, because I've seen so many people make the same fucking mistake. If you run a company, a vaping company, and you are on, uh, and your personal profile, your friends with your customers, da, 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 if you have, like, a bit of crazy ideas. Maybe don't put them on your Facebook page. That would be my thing. We 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 we, hey. <clears throat> we need to we need to do the thing that everybody's waiting for. Things. Yes, let's do that. If we can uh, run VT. <laughs> Hold on. Yeah. Are we jumping the gun yet? <laughs> Hold on, man. Run VT. No, hold on. Not that. Not that. I know, but we don't know any other songs. Sorry. <laughs> That's the wrong thing. Let's run VT. <laughs> <laughs> yes, so, no, uh, maybe. As the fish do. As the fish. The fish is come to can see the fish. Uh, Where is the fish? Oh, he's having a nap. He's dead. No, he's escaped. <laughs> he's, he's, on the, he's lying down on the carpet. <laughs> dude, dude, sit up. Real quick one. <laughs> Yeah! <laughs> oh, that was like totally psychedelic, man. That was like being in the Matrix. That was brilliant. Thank you very much, Rich. Thank you very much. You're doing a great job in uh, in Rick's uh, absence. Are you? Have we found out about the Rice Girls case yet? Uh, no, I don't know. They've gone to uh, the judges. Uh, put them. What's it called? It's just to stop the case. Isn't it? You know, I think the problem was that is that Rick is just so sugar coated. That uh, that's the problem. 
Yeah, yeah, that's what, that's, that's that's it. Yeah, and he came in and just said that, and so they've just uh, they've just stopped the case. They're going to try and get uh, some more evidence and shit together. Okay, okay. So this is it's time for <laughs> things that remind you of Vietnam that aren't really that but that aren't really Vietnam. Oh, what was it? Um, it's yeah. them yeah, it's, uh, it's Ryan Patar. <laughs> Use the hashtag. Uh, <laughs> Okay, yeah. so uh, and I wouldn't have these in any order. Now, some of these I have I have not been able to uh, to locate the names this week. So if I'm if I've missed your name off, then I'm terribly terribly sorry. We've got another me- we've got another another mega week of trying for Tarot. Some some here we go. go. Here we go. Let's get this. Is, is uh, we we had a few of these. These are uh, these are Doctor Who based trying for Tarot. Look at them. Uh, there, there's a uh, on the left. Yeah, and he's he's got a I think he's got a vamo uh, oh, there yeah. with uh, some sort of wooden. I'm not sure whether the, the yeah. I mean, his airflow on the on, on the uh, on the right hand side there. He, he that's that's at the bottom there. The airflow is in the wrong place. I think he's the, got the top cap off, just making sure that the uh, drip tip's clear. That's what I reckon. Yeah, yeah. So that's a couple of uh, couple of nice Doctor Who based tri uh, And I guess yeah. I'm sorry if I've not got your uh, your name here. Oh, this one came in. To, was it today? This one came in. Uh, so yesterday, yeah. Uh, this is this is super exciting news. I did. Uh, I liked it. With regards to um, Triumph Batavars, this here, what we're looking at, what we're looking at here is basically this is a pill, and obviously the, the, it's Triumph Batavar um, based because uh, it looks like a coil. It looks like a big copper coil, obviously. Uh, this is this is from uh, Andrea Lavin. Uh, and I read the I read the article on this, and this is a pill that you uh, you you eat. Obviously, it's a pill, uh, but it's an electric circuit, and it's a tracker, and it connects to an iPhone app or a an, a, a phone app, and it uh, it. Isn't it? For, it's for checking your bowels, isn't it? A track attracts the wind in your body. It's it's, a, it's a, based on the size of that in the palm of that chap's hand. That that is a suppository, not a pill. No, 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 no
I mean, you'd, you'd, I mean, you would probably get two, four, six, yeah, ten, maybe it's twelve or fifteen bikes in there, but they'd have to be really slim. They'd have to be really. That's slim. What, that's, that, that is exactly why we call my mum bike rack. I think actually, mum was the bike rack was probably what killed grandma. You can normally get twelve or fifteen in there. That's what they say. That is. I hope she's not watching. <laughs> Uh, so that's from Dean. That's very, from Dean. very unlikely. That's from Dean Feeney. Thank you, Dean. Next one, please. It was another one. Look, this is the third. This is the third. Uh, the third Sky Fi related uh, try of Batavara of the week. Look at that. We've got uh, Men in Black, one, two, or three. I do think they've stretched it quite far with that one. Uh, well, <laughs> again, no drip tip. Um, well, we had a theme. I kept it. We put it in there. We had a theme. Uh, next one, please, Rich. Better. Here we go. <laughs> so I've not seen this fellow. This is uh, this is Goon. Sean Will I had a bit of a thing for Sean Williams Scott. I don't mean a thing for Sean Williams Scott. Yeah, do you do, you uh, I, 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 Yeah, I like him. I like him. He's, I think he's a funny. I think he's a funny guy. Uh, this is Goon, obviously, which obviously reminded somebody of uh, of, of the Animizer. <laughs> The goon, which if Rick was here, he would be very pleased with that. This is a very difficult triumph, Tarbar. This one, this, I mean, you got to go, oh, look at that scenery, look at that scenery. What is the triumph for Tarbar? But what we've got there is, I don't know if you can, can you, can you zoom? Can you zoom, Rich? Are you there, no. Rich? Okay, on the boats, the boats are called Picos. We've got little Pico boats there, so, and Pico obviously. It was very good, it was very good. I enjoyed that one. That was beautiful. Yeah. It's small, they're obviously small boats. And we've had various Pico yes, atomizers. I can't zoom in, sorry. Uh, that's no problem. Uh, hopefully the, the, uh, the viewers at home can, uh, can see it says Pico there. Next one. Lovely, lovely. I got this one sent <laughs> from John Coulson. No, uh, this one apparently is a, is a John Martin driver guitar. Bar. I didn't even get this, right? Because that's not who people thought it was either. <laughs> that's exactly what I thought it was. Did <laughs> <laughs> you think it was like me? I did. I did say my wife, and she went, "No." I, I thought you were it. moonlighting on the weekends as a. She has got tiny. a lovely, a lovely five head, but um, a few people thought that was Emma Watson, which it's not. That apparently that's where the the, the lad Bible um, article was. That it was this was a um, an M Emma Watson batava. Uh, uh -huh. It was, oh, it was a look-alike, was it? A looky-likey look of Emma Watson. Like, but I think it looked more like me. <laughs> I'm, I'm not sure with it. I mean, there's, there's two pearl earrings in there. I, to be honest with you, I thought it was a dude. I thought, it was, I thought it might have been a dude. But it's I think a, it's, so is it a man or a woman? I have no it's idea. A woman. It's a woman. Two, pearl, two pearl earrings equals it's John on the weekend. It's me at the weekend. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We I wish I could go my hair that long. Know. My hair just goes... <laughs> like that. Yeah, <laughs> not bad. Not bad. Still would. Yeah, it seems to me people are agreeing that is me, so fine. <laughs> see, I, I didn't see it, but I thought it would be reasonably humorous, so I, uh, I, I, I put that in there. A lot of people in chat would, if you're wondering, they would. Yeah, it's a 10 to 2, <laughs> isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> uh, next one. Okay, this one came from Moxie. You can probably tell it came from Moxie because he's got his mod in there. Look at that. That must be the chairlift at work. I'm presuming he is, and he's uh, he's uh, he's got some uh, some some big old wicks in there. Look at that big old wick. Beautiful mod, isn't it? It is. That's the uh, that's the uh, the mod mod. Um, and he's got his armor on there. He's just he's just been kicking. He's, he got. I don't know if you saw his pictures today. He's just been getting some uh, some fancy schmancy. Um, uh, there's a EFC. I think it's an EFC piece, and yeah. it's a, um, a a beauty ring. In some sort of he's so money supermarket, isn't he? especially for that time, isn't he? Isn't he? And he just somebody just sent them. It just there you go. There's a five hundred quid's worth of uh, Makami or whatever it was. Um, that we fancy though. Here we go. Here's another one. This is another. Uh, this is another John Martin. <laughs> <laughs> I missed that one. I missed that one completely. This is a tattoo. This is a tattoo. Uh, apparently, this is some dude from Boys Own. I agree. Was that, was that, that, I would agree that is more that is closer to the twattiness that is my face. It is. It is. It is closer than, than you, you look more like Sean from Boys or whatever he's called. Oh, no, I don't know. Emma Watson. I must admit. So uh, 
But, you know, if somebody was to walk into the pub and you were there, yeah, you go, look, he's got a John Martin tattoo. No, that's fine. You can go on to the next one. This one is, uh, this is Pigeon, Pigeon Powered by 18650 Battery Try and Batava. I quite like that. I liked my comment more. I put 36 hour batteries, slightly slower, but less racist. <laughs> <laughs> That's very good, John. Well done. That was from Simon Townend. Uh, and I, I quite like that one. Obviously, that's a, a message in a pigeon. A message a in a song by the police. Uh, we've got, I, think, we've got a, I think we might have a couple of... Um, no, maybe not. Uh, this is... Uh, I thought we had a couple of reg, reg plates, but uh, this is uh, Fat Daddy Vapes. On the, oh, uh, pretty good Fat Daddy Vapes. Sexually transmitted or seven Fat Daddy Vapes. <laughs> I don't know, really hear for that. I think we might get a few of these, um, a few of these red splits in. That was quite a good one. This one, this one is from the Cactus Man. Everybody get this one? Vapor Shark. It's Vapor Shark. Nice. Vapor Shark. That's right. Vapor Shark. <laughs> Any more, or are we done there? Uh, there we go. One more. Oh, oh, well, this, uh, oh, so this is like, the last one that came out. Oh, I don't know if I got a name for this one. This was somebody who was at uh, this Thai Swain. It uh, was at some sort of agricultural uh, event of the year, and they were, uh, they, were, they were selling giant grey coils. So, and that was Cry of Batava. Thanks very much for watching. It was good. It was good. It was good. You got uh, one last thing. Who has? You have. I have. I added it to that. You added it. Okay, Things that it. remind you of vaping, but they aren't really. It's pretty good. Pretty that good. Worked. Pretty good. That worked well. I didn't think that worked well. Oh, I'll do it. I don't want James. I, I, I added it to James' thing, so I'll, but I'll do it because I said oh, I shouldn't have. Um, uh, I just want to say we're going to do a we're going to do a raffle next week, a charity raffle. Um, I don't know what it's going to be. As we, uh, depending on how we're all situated, will it be live on the show? Don't know. Will it be Friday? Don't know. But we're going to do a um, a raffle. We've got a fantastic mod that I'll put some pictures up early next week, and we've got some other stuff that we're going to add to it. And we're going to give the money away to two charities. Uh, one of them is very likely to be a an animal welfare sanctuary in Philadelphia because the Omi who is donating the mod is from. Billy, and the other one will be something closer to home, but we're going to do that next week. Sorry, Brad. Very good. Hi. Well, <clears throat> Brad's been nothing but positive, positive, positive since he arrived. <laughs> but now Brad's been drinking all day, so he's going to fucking rent. <laughs> the cockwombles, known as Vandy Vape. And I'd like some Omi's opinions on their recent launch. And Brad's eaten everything and sunk. Oh, Bob. Got distracted by chat. They've launched an RDA. And I didn't bother with a picture because I don't even want to look at the thing. But they've gone and used my name to as the name of their new RDA. Which pissed me off. Makes sense. It pissed me off. Yeah, I thought it was perfect. If they if they're not going to clone my devices anymore, they'll just clone the name. Which, yeah, fuck it. Who does? Whose first move is not to Google what they yeah, thought of? Yeah, exactly. Because everybody, but you like. Um, uh, in vaping, you often sit around and think up things, and um, and then, and I mean, the first fucking move is to type it into Google. I mean, it's yeah. instant. You go type into Google, see if anyone else has used it, yes. if it's available, all of that. Yeah. And and I happen to know that they've been contacted about the matter, and their response was, "We don't care." Yeah, it's just yeah. <laughs> Tony and Chet, very funny. Hashtag positive Brad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I kind of, uh, it, it, it's shitty to watch 
to, to, to watch your company who no, there's no need either. It's really yeah. how many fucking words are there in the world? <laughs> Come on. I, I would have thought my choice of brand is so fucking out there that it yeah. wouldn't have come up in as a choice for anyone else. No, but absolutely. Fuck them. That's me. Arseholes. Well, you yeah. and Rick have already said they're both uh, yeah. arseholes with you. Yeah, I'm, I'm they've they've done the two of us. I'm sure they'll piss off the other, other three soon. Oh, I, I, was, well, I, I, I fancied the, um, one of their tanks, but I don't want it. So, fuck them. Yeah. Did I miss it? Oh, I'll watch it back. <laughs> what um, oh. was, uh, was it the Kylin jig? <laughs> It was it was nicking Brown's name. Yeah, the calling oh, yeah. jig and the, yeah. the phobia RDA, which just pissed me off. Stupid. Should have Googled, done a Google. Yeah. Right. I think we're on to mod showcase to end the show. <laughs> Someone's really nailing it. James. <laughs> 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 I don't know how to do it. We have got a special mod showcase tonight because we don't have Rick, um, so I kind of threw a curveball and did a um a mod showcase anyway. And and the mod showcase tonight. He went through that smoke, door opened, he went through that smoke, and I was going to see him again. <laughs> Andy Fairchild in chat. <laughs> You're a fucking legend. <laughs> oh, ne- fuck ne- you. Next from Vandy for the five head audio. <laughs> <laughs> It'll be a six by then, but as it comes out, this is going to be a six. Definitely. Can you see that? No. We, no, we see your pretty face. Lovely face. Oh, okay. Hold on then. Well, let's check it out. Oh, 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 yes. Perfect. Um, so actually, we did kind of a special uh, mod uh, mod maker showcase tonight. And the mod maker showcase is a Dacus flask, which is a DNA 75. Um, Mike sent this to Ali Keegan or Auntie Ali, as some would know her. Um, and. Uh, Ali paid for the block, and Mike donated, just donated the mod, and he, uh, Ali forced him to take money for the block. This is really less of a mod maker showcase. I mean, we, we know what Mike can do, and, and it's, a, it's an absolutely fantastic mod. This is a shout out to uh, Mike Dacus. Um, he is an absolutely incredible bloke, um, and he wanted to, he, he spoke to me um, end of last year, and said he was going to do this, and so I may have furnished him with some details. And um, he sent Ali the, uh, the the finished mod, and it's incredible. Yeah, it's it is really the nice. Sister to um, the sister or brother to to the Dacus flask I have, but it's got a DNA seventy five instead, and the up and down buttons, obviously to control the DNA seventy five. It's fucking cracking. Um, yeah. Mike has probably just died of. Sh- embarrassment and shame but um what i did this is really a shout out to mr dacus to say you're a fucking good bloke it's just or, lovely. just absolutely lovely the colors are great in that block as well but uh, obviously the flask is splendid it's absolutely fantastic um so thank really just a big massive shout out and a thank you to mike dacus just for being you really yeah, we he's black. He doesn't. He doesn't nick stuff or blow stuff up, and we like that. Yeah, it's great. Good, good, good egg. Very nice, Jester. Very cool. Thank you so much. Excellent, and uh, it's great. And it's it's obviously it's. Uh, I, I think um, Ali's face has not stopped smiling all day. Uh, well, yesterday when she received it, I don't think. And probably today as well. Probably today as well. I would. I would. I would, I would, I would be a uh, at least a seventy-two hour smile. With a mod like that, yeah, probably just keep going back in the front room, make sure it's still there. Still yeah, there. yeah. Uh, 
very, very quickly, I'm just going to do a super quick, if it lets me, uh, a super quick uh, troll of the week. Troll Yay! Of the week. Uh, we're going all the way back to the beginning. The original troll, the original troll in the high effort, uh, real life troll in that is these things. Uh, if it shows up okay, someone present me. Um, I got you. Okay, so apparently this was an actual sale on eBay, where someone Amazing. bought iPads, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, they even put in the little troll sticker and everything. It's quite amazing. And this was, one uh, is the. I was actually story. I was sent I was sent a mobile phone box on eBay because they thought they were smart ass, and oddly they put a comma in the wrong place. So. I, I sent a message back saying, uh, yeah, yeah, that would totally work, but you put a comma in the wrong place, so it means it's a phone. And you sent me a box, and they refunded me on the agreement that I would send them the box back. And I, of course, agreed. They refunded me. And then I stamped on the box outside, took a picture, and sent it to them, and wrote, fuck you. I'm still quite proud of that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, so that's the, that. Uh, this one is the, the hidden tenor. Slide the tenor under the keyboard. Oh, uh, yeah, I like oh, that's it. clever. You can see that one going down a hoot in an office. <laughs> and last, by no means least, this is the original. This is the most authentic and not that difficult to do. The old changing the mail to the ladies. Pretty good. That's good. Very easy to do if you have access to scissors and cardboard. So have you ever been have you been in a pub and they've got the you know when they've done the humorous male and female thing? Oh yeah, all the time. Yeah. And you sit there for five minutes trying to work out which one yeah. is which. <laughs> they go when it says because I've been in one, I've been in one and they've done beers and it says stag and doe. And there's a moment where you go, I'm not a fucking biologist. I don't give a shit. I just don't want to see women pissing and they don't want to see me pissing. Fuck. Yeah, it does seem a bit crazy. Yeah. Yeah, so that's that. Uh, yes. Should we sign off? Are you going to do one yes. of your classic sign-offs, John? I can do a classic sign-off. Thank you very much for watching the IDLO show. Um, it's been two hours and 12 minutes of glorious fun. And uh, we'll see you next Thursday. Thank you for watching. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Bye, Bye everyone. Bye.